good evening everyone um if you don't have push talk on please mute your mic um but i would assume everybody's not muted has push talk on um first things first thanks everyone for coming to the meeting again um after every time we have a meeting, I get messages from people saying that they glad, they're glad we had the meeting because the communication is helping um, with the meetings. Um, just a few things that have changed over the past week. Um, did that would do uh, to do with the LEOs? Um, Fallon is now going to be doing the training academy. Um, I ask that you do not message him asking when training times are. Um, if you do, I'm going to let him handle that however he wants to handle that. Um, there will be a calendar set up for that that will have the list of training times um, concerning that. So um, I'll let him deal with that here in just a minute. He can give you all the times that he's going to be doing training. That's up to him. Um, secondly, um, we've had some repeat things that have happened again this week that I dealt with last week. Um, if if there is a report you need me need to make, please please do not make a ticket. I closed multiple tickets earlier because people were creating tickets because they were complaining because somebody already owned them or BD owned them. Please do not create a ticket for that because um, it just the tickets stack up and we have to go through and close them, and so and it can kind of be a pain sometimes to have to do that. So if you will please do not create a ticket for that, it would be much appreciated. Um, also, um, if you will, please, we're going to, um, we're going to be posting more into the voting channel, um, soon. Also, secondly is, um, I saw earlier this week, people bringing up bans in the public chat. Don't do that because your ban will be denied automatically. Um, I've warned people multiple times, um, from here on out, I'm not going to be warning people. Um, it's just going to be denied. I'm not even going to say anything. We'll just deny the ban. Um, we do have a good amount of LEO applications. We'll be doing an interview soon, getting that going. Um, we'll also be doing uh, more EMS training. I've got a lot going on outside of the, all this right now, and so I may be away for a little bit, but the staff will still be around. Um, with that being said, I... I want to get through all this stuff because I want to get to your questions because last time we had a lot of people that had a lot of questions and the meeting lasted a long time. And so if we can, um, I'll get to that as quick as we can. Um, any of the staff, do any of y'all have anything to say? No, no I'm, good. I'm good. No, okay. I'm good. Okay. Fallen always has something to say. I wait my turn. What do you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, man. I, I like I said. I, I'm I'll shocked. Just... Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, he's coming up with something. Hey, it's uh, coming. <laughs> I, I have something. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Um, if anyone, I, I think there was some fixes regarding EMS that people wanted. Uh, and so if you and, or general fixes, if you find a problem, uh, right now is when I'm gonna be fixing problems because I already implemented stuff. So if, if you have a problem that you need fixed, you need to let me know. Um, just put it in suggestions. I don't care where you put it. Just put suggestions is probably the best channel. Put it right now, and then I'll just get through all of them. Um, I don't care if there's repeats. Just put them all in there, okay? Uh, just so I can fix it now because uh, it won't and, be fixed until next week. And I'm going to put a qualifier on that. It needs to be pertaining to development, not bans, yeah. not applications, not anything else, specifically yeah, exactly. development. And so don't be posting anything else in there except for de development stuff. All right, Fallon, did you come up with something? No, I well, okay, fine. <laughs> oh well, I, I figured you came up with something. Uh, Kevon, do you have anything? Nope. Axe. <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, and I think the rest of y'all said y'all didn't have anything. Um. All right, now's your chance to start posting in the questions. Uh, do if you got questions. We're not Radio Shack, but we'll do the best to answer your questions. Yeah. Uh, let uh, name nut go ahead if you would. He has to go pick up his kids, and he has something he's prepared. Oh, go, Nick. 
All right, so <clears throat> this is going to be pretty long-winded, so hopefully everyone sticks with me. Oh, uh, this, no. This is hey, he wrote it down. I made sure he wrote it down so he could stay on track, not like me. Yeah, it's written down, so hopefully no one jumps in. Uh, if you want to talk about it at the end, that's fine. And I have saved this, so if anyone wants to refer back to it later. Uh, so anyways. Yeah, please. Just let me say this right quick. Please don't interrupt him. Let him go. We'll get around to you. You'll have your turn, so just take off. And I actually picked up my kids early, so if you hear them in the background, I apologize. So anyways, uh, first off, before I get started, I want everyone to understand that nothing I'm about to say is meant as an attack or to be disrespectful. Everything I'm about to say is meant to help the community thrive. Alright, so you all know me as Name Nut. My name is Zach. I'm 26 years old. I'm married and I have two kids. I'm very passionate about this community and have been devoting a ton of time towards it. I'm very concerned about the state of the community. Currently, I feel it is surviving and not thriving. Everything I'm about to mention is either based off of my personal experience, stuff I have witnessed, or situations that have been brought to my attention from other community members. I'm going to do my best to be discreet and not mention names and try to avoid mentioning specific details. Grab some popcorn because I'm about to make a fool of myself. Uh, the biggest issue in my eyes within the community is respect. We're all either adults or young adults, and we all need to act like it. We all deserve to be treated with respect regardless of our position within the community. When issues come up in-game or on Discord, it is not fair for the staff to automatically and publicly accuse that or those individuals as being disrespectful. I was recently involved in a situation that resulted in a server-wide announcement being made about not respecting the staff and them understanding the rules. That specific situation was a result of both sides not fully understanding either the rules or how one another viewed the RP scene. That situation did end up getting handled in a mature way as any situation should be dealt with. However, that does not excuse the quick draw of an action that then draws the entire community into it. Also, if a situation is handled amongst those directly involved, that should be the end of the situation. There's zero reason to take it up with staff, regardless of who you are. As an example, if I have an issue with a fellow EMS member, regardless of who it is, <clears throat> personal or relating to their RP, the respectful and mature thing to do is go to that member in private and talk it out. It is no one else's business to be involved unless one or both sides can't be mature about it. Then you move up the chain of command <clears throat> and not include the entire community. The next biggest issue in my eyes uh, is the topic of bans. This issue also comes back to respect between those of staff and members. Again, we all deserve to be respected. I have caught wind of or witnessed a few bans that have been a result of a misunderstanding of the rules. In my opinion, if someone who is a legitimate and known member of this community, they need to be shown the respect that they have earned and given the opportunity to discuss the rule they may or may not have broken before staff auto-bans them. After that discussion, the staff member should respectfully explain why they will still be banned for X amount of time. I am aware of a few very well-known and very active members that have caught a temp ban for supposedly breaking the rule. In one of those situations that come to mind, that individual went and searched the server rules uh, posted on Discord and was unable to find that rule that they supposedly broke. <clears throat> this is an example of being disrespectful to the community and its members. The staff member uh, should have explained using their voice why they were disciplined. Uh, in this specific situation, not even one hour after the member was banned, I responded to an EMS call that was almost the identical RP scene. The member I was responding to was instead shot by the police, which is how the situation should have, had, should have ended with the individual who was banned. Uh, my next issue is that the entire staff team needs to all be on the same page as to what the server rules are. It is not okay to use personal emotions when issuing discipline. If someone, if someone upsets you to the point that you feel you need to punish them, you should probably take a step back, maybe even consult a fellow staff member who is not involved, and then decide what the appropriate action should be. My issues with staff not being on the same my issue with staff not being on the same page as to what the server rules are does not only relate to punishment. Uh, in the not so distant past, there was a server event held by staff members. This event was hosted by an in-game RP group that consisted of some staff members. Uh, and by definition, the word gang, by the definition of the word gang, this was a gang event. Uh, a few of us members voiced our concern about this event afterwards. The result was that the following day, it was announced that gangs will be allowed under a specific set of rules. I strongly feel, based off of what I have witnessed during my time on this server, is that if any normal, non-staff member were to have hosted this, that event and performed the same actions, that they would have been banned. Bringing up this event and my thoughts on how it was handled does not mean I think those staff members need to be punished. 
This situation is a good example of how server rules should be modified for the better, such as allowing gangs in this specific situation. My next issue is that it seems as if only a select few members of the staff get publicly thanked either by staff or by the community. If you look over on the right-hand side of Discord, you will see an ever-growing list of staff members. All of those individuals have earned their right to be on that list. They also have all earned the right to be acknowledged. At this point, I'm sure all of you see this as me ripping into the staff. My next issue is with the community. While this is a difficult topic to get under control due to the nature of being a public server, we all need to do our part and follow the server rules and instructions by staff. This also means doing our part to guide the new members in those rules and previously outlined instructions. <clears throat> it's getting better, but I still frequently see active members breaking rules that have been brought up countless times by staff. This is disrespectful to the staff. As someone, ha <clears throat> as someone who has in the past been a staff member in other communities, I can reassure you that it is a lot of work and takes a lot of time <clears throat> to take on such a role, especially in a public community that's the size of LSDOJ. As an example, if you get banned because you broke a rule, you need to respect the rules that have been laid out in, on how to deal with an appeal. My next issue with the community is how a fair number of you treat the LEO and EMS members as well as how some LEO and EMS members treat the civs. Everyone in this community is here to role play, make relationships, and have fun. No matter what your title is in the server, we all need to respect that. We all need to respect the other members that are dedicating their free time to help us all have fun. When people cop bait and run with the intention of not being caught, that is disrespectful to that person's time. When someone calls EMS and we arrive on site and you just RP it as your leg broke, that is disrespectful to that person's time. When LEO arrests civs for a crime and put them in jail for a long period of time, especially when the suspect RP'd the situation and did not cop bait, cop bait or fail RP, that is disrespectful to that person's time. When EMS abandons a caller to respond to another high prior, higher priority call and does not notify the original caller of such an action, that is also disrespectful to that person's time. Lastly, the staff invests so much of their time and energy into this server in the community, most of which is not fun work. When something goes wrong, and we all, and we're all guilty of this at one time or another, start spamming the living daylight out of Discord and tagging staff, that is unacceptable. Not only does this break server and Discord rules, it also slows down staff from fixing the issue. It, <clears throat> if they have to stop fixing the issue to respond to people tagging them about the issue they're fixing, this just slows everything down. <clears throat> There's almost always at least one staff member on the server, no matter if you know it, know about it or not. Trust me, they're aware the server has crashed. If a hacker joins and jails everyone, then everyone needs to log off the game and either submit a ticket about what happened and then the staff will get work get to work on fixing the issue. I'm going to wrap this up now, but first I want to thank every single one of you in the community for giving me so much enjoyment and release from real life. I've never been so passionate or involved in a community like I have here. Every single one of you means a lot to me. Yes, please use this statement as an example of standing up to what you think is either wrong or right. This community will not thrive if we all do not work together as a family. No one should be scared to square off and confront the staff in a respectful and mature manner. They too are humans, just like you and I. I know this is a very long statement, which I have typed up. If anyone wants to copy to review, please let me know. Love you all. Next person, please. All right, that about covers it all. Thanks for coming to the meeting. No, I'm sorry. Here, here. <laughs> hey, no, yeah, if you can Nut, if you can, please send me a copy of that. Um, some things that he brought up that I actually was going to bring up and I had held off was the respect factor. Everybody here deserves the same respect as another person wants. Um, nobody deserves more respect than somebody else. Everybody is owed the same amount of respect. Um, and that seems to be a problem here and there. It's going to be dealt with. Um and I don't want to deal with it in the way that I have to, but if I have to, bans will be issued. Um, I, um, I I really don't like handing out bans, but there's times that it comes down to it that we have to. Um, also, if you have a situation, don't get staff involved in it immediately. Please try to resolve it yourself. Um, the last thing we need is staff to be called for every single little thing. I can't tell you how many times I've been in game and somebody pops up, hey, I, we need a staff member when it was something that could have been resolved between the two. 
um, and I think that's something that really should be looked at um, by both by both parties. Um, I think that uh, many times there's stuff that could be resolved, and myself or any of the staff wouldn't have to take the time to step in and play mediator, um, for example, and it could be easily settled out. Now there are some cases people can't seem to control their temper, and staff do have to step in, and that is understandable at times. Um, the next thing is P, uh, the LEOs and the and uh, SIBs. You understand? As I've said before, we're all on the same team. We're all we're all in it to have fun. There's no reason for LEOs to disrespect uh, SIBs, and there's no reason for SIBs to disrespect LEOs. Um, there's no reason for it at all. Period. Um, and that nobody here is better than the other. Um, the the other thing that um, he brought up was with the gangs. Um, I I am aware of that, and that does fall on my fault on my part. Some I am to blame for that, and I will take the blame for it. Um, that was conducted, and I approved of it, and it was done. So you can you can blame me for that. I'll take responsibility for that, and I apologize. Um, secondly. There, this RP seems to be getting better, um, and I, this is all being brought up now. I wasn't even going to bring this stuff up. The RP seems to be getting better. Um, anyone in game who breaks RP, period, will be banned uh, for 24 hours. Um, I'm also going to be getting together with the staff. Um, we're working on communicating more. Uh, myself and the staff, we're going to be getting together and. Um, Putting to, we're going to be changing the times on the jail time because we are jailing people too long. Um, 15 minutes, I think, is a bit too long to jail somebody. Um, and we'll deal with that amongst the staff. Um, we'll take, we'll make decisions on that together. Um, also, to all the people, all the civs that have been playing, that have been RP and good, been giving good RP, I appreciate it very much. Um, it makes it easier on the staff in and of itself because we don't have to come into the scene and constantly have to deal with that stuff. Because it does get irritating while we're trying to play the game. We're getting called because somebody fell RPing. Because um, a lot of times we end up having to get involved or an LEO runs into somebody that's just, just straight up jerk. If you're playing a civ, do not be a jerk to the LEO. I mean, there is some extent you can be a jerk, but don't get to the point that we have to step in and deal with it. There's no reason for it. That's that's really unacceptable. Um, if you're going to be a jerk to the, if you want to be a jerk to all the LEOs to a ridiculous extent, you can go find another server to play on. Uh, we're here to have fun. Um, I'm not here to constantly play the uh, the teacher over the daycare. And so um, we're all adults. We need to act as such. <laughs> Um, also, there there's going to be events hosted. Those will be coming more and more um, common. Secondly, he mentioned the server crash. We are aware when the server crashes. I promise you we are aware. And I do my best to try to update everybody when the server crashes. Um, we're not able to constantly update you, keep you constantly in the loop. I do my best if I'm available to, if I'm not at work. I try to keep everybody in the loop when the server's going to come back up. Um, but outside of that, I mean, when the server goes down, we are aware of it. It's something that we are aware of. Unless it's in the middle of the night and sometimes we're asleep, which um, I sleep wacky hours and so does Romp. And so a lot of times we're up in the middle of the night and we'll know if the server goes down. Um, with that being said, um, he said something about the modders and stuff. Well, those are dealt with accordingly. As you know, we are aware, typically aware when that stuff happens very quickly. Um, the Discord doesn't need to be spanned when there's a modder in game. And also, please do not create tickets when there's a modder in game. Um, last week I had to go, I had think I had to delete six or seven tickets that somebody created that different people created because there was a modern game. I understand that and it's irritating, but please just report and we will get them out of the server ASAP. Um, outside of that, is there any staff have anything to say after that? Uh, in regards to, to server crashes, um, uh, 
when the server does crash, like I'm notified when it is, uh, and sometimes obviously I'm asleep, so there's you know things like I, you know obviously I can't I can't boot it back up instantaneously, but I am coming up with a system for all staff members to be able to reboot it. So so if it does crash at random times, ever you know most staff members uh, will be able to or actually probably all staff members be able to reboot it from a panel. So so the ser server uptime will come up, will go from uh, from a crash to basically instantly up. Um, so just please, like, like just, just don't spam it because it gets on my nerves, especially when people spam it because you're not, you're told not to spam it uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, but we are coming up with so solutions for for fixing, um, or not fixing, but but dealing with with crashes and, and and reboots and stuff like that, automating them a little bit more. So. Yeah, and I mean, this is not we're not the perfect server. We're running trial and error, so. There's going to be bumps in the road. This is trial and error, um, and so we're we're learning as we go. So none of us here knows knows everything about uh, running a server. So it's trial and error. Um, any other staff? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Sky. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Okay, so the question, what I want to say is like, I can note that most, that mostly the entire community is American, but there are still quite a lot of people from Europe, and we never get nighttime on the server. It's always day for us. Yeah. Can we do something about that? Uh, uh, Josh, can I answer this question? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so so in regards to that, I actually had an idea last night, right when I was going to bed. It's usually when I get my good ideas. Um, so my plan, well, not my plan, but my, I was thinking, um, and I actually haven't run this by you, Josh. I was, I probably should have run this by you before I brought it up, but, oh, well, I was thinking we could have maybe two different servers, and and maybe one would be European time and the other one would be American time, so people could choose their choose their pick. Uh, and now, I mean, I don't know if that would be something the community would want. I, mean, I don't know if like is it. Is Honestly, that, what can, I am thinking is like six hours of day, six hours of night. So you have like two cycle, mm -hmm. two cycles going between a fourth. So yeah, yeah. So the issue with that is that how it works is it syncs it to, um, it syncs it to an internet time server and then it uh, calculates it using an offset, um, so it, so as to like um, not have a lot of overhead, uh, resource wise, um, and uh, it would be difficult for me to. Um, recalculate the time so that it converts itself from a 24-hour system to a six-hour system. Does that make sense? So I think the be next best solution would be to have two different servers and then they'd be on different time zones. But I mean, that's up, that's entirely up to Josh at this point. Okay, but I'm wondering, is it possible to make it like to go forward, like to make it to the time to go faster than normal? That will make it's, it like not like faster. it's possible, but it, it it's possible. I mean, everything's possible, right? But it's just not super feasible. Um, in the main server, as with two different servers, you might have a lot of lonely people on one server. Yeah. Well, right, right. That's the issue. Yeah, and if we create two servers, we're going to have too many people scattered out. as the problem. I'll look uh, into the. It just, it's just a. It's just. I'll look in. I'll look into it. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be very hard. So I'll look into it. Just it's, bear with us for now. We'll get it figured out. Um, and so it's a suggestion. We'll get it figured out. We'll decide what we're going to do. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Jerk, that stuff that we're working on. And yes, it is okay. Um, if someone is in there and they're asking questions in OOC, Typically, if there's a staff member on, uh, one of the staff members will TP to them. Um, if not, it's fine. If it's later in the night, it's typically not time when there's nobody on. Um, if not, it's fine to use the OOC or even try to locate them and ask them where they're at and go to them. I can put them um, aside and use my voice because I usually tell them to get on Discord first, but not a lot of people like to. Well, that that is even a better idea is to get them in Discord because that's where all the resources are going to be at that they need. And so, um, yes, it is it is okay if you need to use it for that. 
Um, preferably, if they're asking questions concerning, hey, Ron, what are the commands that you can use? It's forward slash CAD. There's slash a CAD. It's when you join the server, you're given a list of commands. Um, let me actually get them. Let me get them. Let me read them all. Um, it's slash CAD, uh, slash register, um, slash report, uh, uh, slash, and, and just FYI, don't use OOC. Use slash report over OOC. You can even ask questions. Doesn't matter. You can ask questions in slash report. But um, let me get the other commands for you. Just a second here. What specifically is the OOC, OOC for? Yeah. We're using um, OOC to mainly. Um, we're we're contemplating taking it out. Um, yeah. The main, the original reason for the OOC was to report problems, but at this point, really, in all honesty, to report a problem doesn't need to be broadcasted to the whole server. And so, if you'll just do forward slash report, it will notify staff because that's the people that really need to know. Because the noobs are constantly using it as a normal out of character chat. Yeah, and the chats is something that we're constantly working on. And so that's something that we're going to discuss more amongst our uh, amongst the staff, and we'll make decisions, and we'll uh, let notify y'all of that when we start making changes. Here, I uh, I'm adding something right now that'll make it better for everybody. Um, so so if you have a question about some information about the server, you can do slash welcome, and it'll it'll, it'll display the join message again, um, and you can do it as many times as you want. Um, and it'll display the join, join message for you, so it'll tell you uh, how to do the CAD, what the website is, the Discord, uh, how to use the report, um, and, and... That's and slash the, server? Sla no, slash welcome. Slash welcome. Slash welcome, yep. And so if, if you don't do slash welcome, it will give them all of the instructions that they need. I'm good. Yeah, right, 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 right. Exactly. I apologize. I apologize. And then, if, for example, if you do slash CAD, it'll it'll give you all the steps, uh, all five steps to get into the CAD and sign up and stuff like that, um, in the chat. Uh, so. So yeah. Okay. And Kimmel, I read your question. The problem is, if we make the CHP cars faster, nobody's going to want to play police or sheriff. They're always going to be using the highway cars. And you, you know as well as I do, everybody's going to be driving the highway cars. We ain't going to have no sheriff. We ain't going to have no PD. Let's have a motorcycle that just goes like 300. Boom! Oh, it. Hey, is any people that don't know how to drive will be having to call EMS nonstop? Yeah. Hey, Josh. Uh, who said that? Kimmel. Oh, what's up? Uh, have us train like the motorcycle on Air 1. You have to be trained on it first before you can use it. Yeah, I mean, we can make the motorcycle faster. Definitely. We there can make a motorcycle. Well, the mo motorcycle is as fast as the fastest biking game, or the second fastest biking game. Uh, the Hakuchao, or whatever. Hak yeah, that motorcycle lost against an old school truck the other day. That's kind of slow. The, 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 com the custom, what are that things called? Um, the Rat Loader? Phantom Custom. Can't you bump up yeah. the numbers to like 130 on the I motorcycle? I could bump it up, the issue. Um, with that, is that I want it, uh, essentially what I do is I set the handling ID to something that's, that's already in the game, so that I can match a vehicle, a vehicle's handling. I can't do a car, obviously, because it's a motorcycle, but I can do a motorcycle, and so I can do the, the Hakocho, whatever it's called, the Hakocho, power, make fun of me, I don't care, but, um, Hakuchi. yeah, whatever. Hakocho Hakuchi. drag. Yeah, whatever it's called. Hey. Not, not the drag, <laughs> the regular the sport. So what do you think, hey, Rom, what would, would be your take if, we, if I was to make a uh, CHP traffic vehicle mm -hmm. um, and make it to where the only people that can drive that are actually traffic trained? Tra what? You couldn't, and, like, I mean, they could, anyone would be able to respond. Yeah, do what? Kind of thing, but I could, I could no, we won't put it in the spawn menu. Yeah. We'll make it a spawn code in the text chat. You're breaking up bad, Rom. Oh, my internet is really bad. I'm sorry, guys. No, that's fine. So, put it, make it to where you can only spawn it in the text chat. Uh, like, if you have permission to actually use the command, then? Is that what you mean? Can you make it to where only people that have the training have permission? Yeah. 
I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you obviously have to do it like, just like we give police permission, but yeah, I can do that. Very yeah, easy. if we can do that, that would be perfect. Um, and yeah. just make it to where the only people that can use it are people that are traffic trained. Okay. I mean, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. I have to add more support to the job. That's what I'm going to do right now. Um, add more support to the job tracker um, so we can add more whitelisting. So I can just add it into that. Um, cause it's a and so that's what we'll do. And just do it for the charger. We'll we'll speed up the charger. Because typically, if you're going to have something like that in a, a department, it's going to be the charger. It's going to be uh, it's going to be sped up. Right. And so we'll work on that, Kimball. We'll, we'll work on doing that. Um, primordial. Uh, I got a quick question, and then I got something I wanted to say to the entire community. Uh, question is. I uh, recently found kind of what I would think of as my own little niche in the community, and that's providing music as a DJ in the music channel. Uh, I had a role to where I can control it, but it got taken away from me. I'm not sure by who, and I'm not really concerned about that because I'm sure whoever did it had a good reason. But I was wondering if it would be a possibility if I could get that back uh, in the future so that I could just continue doing that. It, it was just a of a role. Yeah, um, we we were doing clean up on the rolls a couple weeks or last week because we just had way too many and that I uh, saw it got created and I didn't know what it was and so it got deleted but we'll put it back in. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, the thing I wanted to say and this is going to be a, a a smidge long. I'll try to say it as fast as possible. Uh, in the past, <clears throat> since I've been on the server, <clears throat> I've been around for a long time now. I've been around for all the drama that took place uh, about a month and a half, two months ago. And I think that anybody else that was here around for that knows what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into it. But, and of course, I've been around for the transitions and the rule changes and the change from a regular server to an economy server. And <clears throat> like name nut. You know, uh, I didn't play on multiple servers. I've never been staff on another server. I played on one server for one day before I found this one. And when I found this server, I immediately recognized uh, the potential behind it. I immediately, re immediately recognized how good the staff were, how good the members were. And I just, I refused to go anywhere else. So I'm very passionate about this server as well. Uh, with that being said, I've been dealing with a lot of, IRL stuff, uh, uh, most of it very messed up, uh, and I know that in the last couple of months I may have kind of portrayed that and taken it out on some people that I shouldn't have, maybe been a little rough, and uh, uh, pardon my French, but a bit of an asshole, and that's something that was brought to my attention by a few people, and it's something that I've definitely been trying to work on. Uh, I've been trying to be more lax and more understanding, and... You know, I, I didn't fall right into the RP thing like some people do. For me, it's a learning curve, and I'm trying to get better. Uh, other than that, I just wanted to say that, you know, if anybody has a problem with me in the future, you know, uh, it is something, like I said, I'm trying as hard as I can to work on. And like Name Nut said and like Josh said, you know, don't bring stuff straight to the staff. If you have a problem with me, I'm a grown man. I'm 33 years old. I married a woman that's 13 years older than me. I've been raising kids for the last 13 years. They're in their 20s now. So, I mean, you know, I'm pretty mature. If you have a problem with me, please don't be afraid to bring it directly to me and talk to me about it. This goes for regular people, you know, members, civs, LEO, staff, whoever you are. If you have a problem, come talk to me about it first. If we can't work it out, then, you know, we go to the next step. But uh, other than that, like I said, I, I appreciate the opportunity to play here. I appreciate all of the staff uh, and everything that all of you do very much. And I appreciate all the members and my fellow LEO. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Reven? Guess he's not here. Reven? All right, Dag. All right. So uh this is not really a question but a request uh if I may uh so about the RP if 
I it's just annoying when uh, we're in a, like a robbery, maybe at the Yellow Jack or even at the some kind of store, and we're trying to control the situation, but there's a bunch of people behind us, and we don't know who's going to pop a shot at us or who's going to shoot at us. So it's just a request. If you could just clear, even if you're a reporter, can you just stand back a little bit, clear the way for us to, when we get the situation in control, or we get the suspect who's robbing the place, uh, then you could come and talk to us about what happened. But it's just uh, hard to work around when there's a bunch of people just running in behind us with cars and stuff and motorcycles and all that stuff and just getting too near us and we can't control the situation. So it's just like a request where if you could just back off and when the situation is clear and you could just come um, come up to us, talk uh, talk about it, and if you're a reporter, you could get your cam out and uh, we could have an interview. But when the situation is going on, if I would just request if you could just back off. So typical rule of thumb is with something like that with reporters, you stay away from the scene because if that person inside the building, I'm going to be honest with you, if there's an RB scene going on and you're a reporter and you get shot, I'm sorry. You should have stayed back. You shouldn't have been anywhere near the scene. Um, it's an active crime scene. And so you should stay away from the scene. In real life, I've never seen a reporter get right in front of the, the gas station while they're robbing the gas station and do a report. No, they're staying down the street away from it because they don't want to get shot. And so yeah. if you're a reporter, my piece of advice is you need to stay on the street. Don't go near the, don't go near the scene because then you're going to risk getting shot. And if you get shot, I mean, sorry, it's not RDM. It's not fellow RP. You were in their line of sight. Once yeah, all the suspects uh, are cuffed and they're being walked to the cars, can we rush up then and bug for questions? Yeah, I uh, prefer, so it's pretty much, yeah. Uh, I would prefer, if you're going to do something like that, um, to let them get them in the car, let them read them their rights. You can talk to the police officers, but you cannot talk to the suspect until they're down at the station. Yeah, so, but, yeah. You need to ask permission when they get to the station if you can talk to the suspect. Yeah, so pretty much that's what happened with me yesterday at the motel. There was an active shooter inside the motel, and a reporter came in. Two of the people came out behind me while I was trying to search the building. And I don't know if they were armed or with him. So I was really on my toe, and next thing I know, I was clearing rooms, and I hear gunshots, and the reporter shot the man who was active shooter so that really ruined the rp and uh was very dangerous yeah that's unacceptable if you're a reporter with a gun and you shoot that's unacceptable um at that point that's going to be a fail rp because reporters should not be anywhere near seen with a gun um outside that's of it. that i mean um or at least can we get the reporters to uh like dag said wait till the scene is clear then announce them saying I'm a reporter with CNN or something like that to actually initiate the RP with the reporter to be realistic reporters stay down the street and the police walk to them they don't initiate just coming on scene the police they stay down the street the roads blocked off they stay down the street and the police come and talk to them they don't they don't come they don't come invade the scene they stay down the street yeah, it, so, I'm not trying to disrespect anyone. It's just that it's just for good of you not getting shot, and I have to deal with it afterwards. You know, it's just for your safety too. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone at all. No, you, for you have a point. You have a complete point. The reporters should stay on the street. They should not be anywhere near the active scene. Because if you go back and look, just go do research. You never see a reporter come near the crime scene. The officer always walks to them. Because, I mean, they don't want them getting shot. And so even after this crime scene, the suspect's in custody. They don't get to walk up to the car and talk to the suspect. So I'm being a little bit more lenient and saying, yeah, you can go down to the station and talk to them, but you need to have PD's consent. And so if any staff feel like I'm wrong on that, please chime in. No, you're good. Okay. All right. Um, all right, Reven, you had a question a minute ago. 
and we couldn't hear you. Yeah, sorry, my microphone was uh, not exactly wanting to play ball, but uh, most of what was said was covered with um, Nut's comments. Uh, most of it was also covered with Primordial as well. Um, again, like like they said, we're on the same side. Um, there's no need to say like drop an F bomb or drop an, uh, an S bomb and call and call the officer that is arresting you. Um, excessive, uh, you know, excessive names. And again, I don't know if that's part of the RP or not, but um, I have seen that some suspects will be going out of their way to do that. But if you are going to do that to police officers, um, can I recommend that the officers take their time with booking the uh, the suspect just to, um, you know, try calm things down or, um, you know, like what happens to me in real life with uh, having so much retail experience, the more polite you are, the more you're going to get angry if you are the plaintiff uh, in that respect. But the other question I've got as well is, um, do we know when EMS training is going to be around? Because I do have a friend that wants to, to join and has applied as far as I know, um, but he's currently got IRL commitments with uh, his job and he's unable to attend the uh, the meeting currently at the moment. So EMS training will probably be next Sunday. Okay, uh, thank you. After I get done with uh, staff meeting. Okay. Um, if so, can you post it on the announcement so I can relive yeah, that? Yeah, I'll, I'll notify everybody. Thank you, Josh. Hey, Reven, uh, I don't do that, but uh, I think sometimes swearing is a part of the RP. Yeah, I know I know swearing is, is part of the RP, but again, it's been... Um, happening to me a couple of times where people will drive past me and say go f and i'm gonna drop an f-bomb here but go fuck yourself pig and then they drive off yeah but so. if, they're, if, they're, if they're just driving by and saying that i think that's called cop baiting isn't it that would be considered cop baiting because i'm sorry you're not going to drive past the scene where cops arrest somebody in real life and do that exactly yeah that's that's not realistic um not unless you're really stupid and to be honest with you, I mean, for someone's getting arrested, um, for you to go out of your way and constantly cuss and drop f bombs and everything else and cuss the officer out, there's no reason for that. I mean, no, I, I know, I mean, know we're trying to LP the scene, if but it's excessive. So much. I agree, but if it's thrown out once in a while, it's probably okay. Well, I'm oh, talking yeah, about the, the I'm less referring you do to it, the better it is when I'm, you do it. I'm referring to excessively. Can I just say something? I think I think what he refers to is people getting excessively angry at cops. Maybe it's not even about cursing or whatever, but yeah, it's you know yeah. like you're getting arrested and you're pissed off at the cop because you're arrested. You know, I understand that you're pissed off, but that's that's gonna happen. You know, if and you're it's doing also part of the RP, or if you're running away from police or anything, it's exactly it's part of the RP. I'm not saying that you can't be angry at police, but sometimes you can tell. When a person is angry in character or is angry out of character, and it's the out of character that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, and and the dropping the excessive cussing is just really unacceptable. I mean, yeah, you may do it here and there, but to constantly word one after another dropping cuss words, it's unacceptable. There's no reason for it. I think if something like that happens, then it, maybe it should be reported. Yeah, and we'll deal with it when it happens. Um, that's something we'll deal with, and um, we'll discuss amongst staff what to do with that next step when that happens. Um, hang on just a second. Rom's working on that stuff, so it'll happen what, as what it comes. Working? They're asking on a better trunk locking system. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, we're not going to be adding a Mustang for the Highway Patrol. Um, that's it. I have a quick question. What's that? I have a quick question. I was kind of skipped over at the beginning, um, but it was kind of a serious question. What's that? Uh, I guess it got removed because it was about a ban. Um, now... It's going to be a little, it's not long, um, but I'm just curious on what's the situation behind it. If it, if I like, I'm completely okay if it needs to be reenacted, like reinstated, I get it. Um, I was banned from the server um, a little, a little, a little while ago. Uh, I think it was about a, uh, the beginning of the summer of this year, um, roughly around then. Um, 
back when I don't even know how. It just it was a little while ago. Um, I was banned for um, I think I rode my motorcycle into uh, the PD uh, while there was a streamer on the server, um, and I've been banned for for that time uh, up until a couple days ago. Um, I guess the ban was removed uh, or cleared, um, but I'm I'm still banned from the Discord. Uh, I've been trying to contact people about it. I'm not really getting a big response on it. Um, I, I just don't know if that's something that was supposed to happen, or if that was m intentionally if bans were removed. Because um, I mean I, I've kind of changed a bit from where I was then till now. Um, a little better with my role play um, and whatnot, and I, I kind of want a second chance. If that's possible, if not, then I, I get it. Yeah. Um, I'll get I'll get with you after the meeting is over. Okay. I'll okay. get with you after the meeting is over. Um, and Kim, well, we do have a uh, oh, you're wanting to see Chopper? Okay. Uh, we'll have to look at that. Uh, yeah, we can get one. Just give us a little bit. We'll work on that. Uh, uh, real quick, uh -huh. um, people have been asking about snow on the server, and they're, like, I don't want to say anything, um, but we have, we do have plans, uh, uh -huh. and, um, there are things, like, we are doing, we're actively, kind of, we're not, not actively, but you'll start to notice things change, uh, over time, um, just, you know, kind of like in real life, things don't, you know, in Christmas, or when, you know, like, sort of snow it doesn't, I mean, it can, it obviously does happen overnight, but the season's strange. Uh, right. I, so I'm gonna. It's a little slower, you know. You'll, but you'll definitely notice the changes. I promise. So, so just uh, in regards to snow and, and Christmas and stuff like that, we, we'll, we'll probably we'll have an event plan and stuff like that. So just Santa Claus. Don't worry about that. Hmm. I said Santa Claus. Hey. Santa Claus. <laughs> so just uh, just to FYI, any development stuff, suggestions that you have. If you can put that in the suggestions tab for me, yeah. that would be better. Because I'm just going to be honest with you, you bring it up in here, Rob's going to forget because he gets invaded with suggestions. <laughs> and so any developmental suggestions, put it in the suggestions tab. I'm going to delete them now. But yeah, any kind of any kind of suggestions like that would be best uh, to put that in suggestions tab. Um, what's up, Nut? <laughs> hold on. I guess he doesn't. Uh, hold on, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, what's up? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been on uh, police comms for maybe two weeks now, and something that I've noticed that is just extremely repetitive and annoying to me, and I'm not even an LEO, is that damn drag bike. I don't know of a um, call that I've overheard Jesus. that has stopped. That is, has not been a cop baiting or fail RP situation. In my opinion, that drag bike does nothing but cause issues and frustration to the Leos. I think it needs to be removed. What drag yeah, bike? Yeah, we, we can't, we can't get that in any way. Haka Chow drag it. I, it's, yeah, you're right. It's impossible. Whatever it is. Here, yeah, here. Catch it. It's next to impossible to catch if it. A, if a motorcycle it can go fast to the point that it cannot be caught by an LEO, it needs to be taken out of the server. The issue uh, with it? Is that people who already own it wouldn't be? I can take it out of the vehicle shop like it's nothing. Um, the issue is that people who already own it will be a little bit harder to eff affect, like effect in regards to that. Um, what I could do is I could um, replace it with something. So we could have like for Couldn't example. Couldn't you just try to lower sort of... the speed on it? See, well, I could. Yeah, I could. Uh, that's what I'll do. You know what? That's what I'll do. I'll, that's I'll, I'll the, change the solution. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll change the handling on it. That's probably a good idea. I'll change the handling on it because handling is just really overpowered on it. It's just, it just it goes like zero to sixty in probably like a second or something like that. It's insane. Why don't you make so. it the same as the standard Hakachu? I could do that. Well, the, the ha that one's pretty fast too, actually. Yeah, man. Because even in the Crown Vic, we've got no chance in on in hell at all with that one, man. Because by the time we even get to a hundred, they. Well, if you, uh, the Charger can keep up with them. I've kept up with them. No, the Charger's way slower <laughs> nope. than that. I, I've kept up with Charger. I've got, in the, in the 13 Charger, I've kept up with it, because the thing has a lot of, it has a lot of pickup. Okay. Yeah, so, we've got no access to that, I think. To touch on mm -hmm. this and go, um, I see somebody asked about an LEO question, and it brought this to mind, 
if you apply for LEO and you're underage and you go back and apply again and you lie about it, I will know because your application is not deleted. So, and if I find your application and if you lied, you're going to be banned from the server permanently. I've already caught a few this week. So, I would suggest that you don't do that. Because I would hate to have to ban you. But if you bring that on yourself, I'm sorry you don't to yourself. Um, let's see here. What do you mean by reskin vehicles, Kim? Sorry, what'd you say? What do you mean by reskin some vehicles? Uh, the newer sheriff vehicles, like the Silverado and the Tahoe, the lights aren't even that bright. They're barely visible. On the Tahoe? Yeah, like the Silverado, the Taurus, a couple others, the lights, you can barely see them. Really? Because they're bright on my screen. I think it's a mod that you have to download for uh, for uh, to increase the light uh, effectiveness. Try to install Radiance V. Well, because I know that some you have, like, the Stro char Charger. I think uh -huh. right when you go grab one of the newer ones, like the Taurus that comes up as a Explorer, it pulls up and it's barely visible light. Yeah, hey, everybody, make if you're LEO, drive that strobe. Sheriff Charger Rump loves that car. God, I hate it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll do, Tim 4. No, oh, Rump, by the way, that Agent yeah. Gray. Epic, yeah. by the way. I had myself in stitches for many <laughs> hours of that one. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, well, I took your idea in, with that. Um, just been going around, like, kidnapping people who have been breaking rules and and getting, you know, either getting rid of them or talking to them. It's, it's not a bad idea. Arrested for that yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We I was surprised you guys let us go, to be honest. <laughs> 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 we have more pressing matters to attend to with we that. We thought we were going to have to shoot you or something. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing was oh, me and Dag on duty that day. We, we were tried. literally in stitches. You tried to shoot us. Yeah. Hey, we guys, tried, if you will, will, make you mean try, man. We're in SA, man. We... Hey, on? just real quick, if you will in the questions, please only post deals that you got questions. So I'm going to go through and delete other stuff. Uh, if you're able to talk, just put a thumbs up. Um, let's see. Jerk, we'll be reviewing applications pretty soon. That's something the staff have to agree on. Raven, you said come back to me. What do you need? Uh, no, that was uh, when my mic wasn't working, so it's fine. Skip me. Okay. Um, Wolf, you need to call a mechanic if there's one on. If not, you need to go to a uh, gas station, whatever, and purchase repair kits. Not full RP, but some people. I think that was with regards to um, Dag's okay. uh, question with the... So that's fine if they're a getaway driver, but um, I ran into this a couple weeks ago, but here's the thing. Anyone outside of that location is not to be firing a gun. If you fire a gun and kill an officer, it's considered a fell RP. Anybody that's going to be firing guns needs to be inside the location. So if you're outside and you ambush the officers with a gun, it's going to be considered fell RP and you'll be have a 24-hour ban placed on you from the server. Uh, Josh, quick question. What was that light mod that you suggested that all the uh, LEOs have uh, installed? Radi Radiance V. Radiance V. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, don't be calling on what there's somebody doing drugs. That's, I mean, we're not going to do anything. Uh, doing drugs or collecting drugs? Doing drugs. That's like the real life cops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. Well, I mean, the yeah. main issue that we have on it is the caller will be in Sandy calling people doing drugs down at the dock. Yeah, well, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. If there's drugs, people mining drugs, now the dock, we're not going down there. So, 
Don't even bother calling the police. Uh, Sweat? I forgot what my initial question was. Um, oh. But I, I, I have a couple other ones, so don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, one is, is it possible to get training for the life flight? I know Nut wants to be able to fly the helicopter. That's, so I'm asking for him. That's something that we're going to uh, work on this Sunday. Okay, cool. Also, I guess kind of more of a statement. I have been getting a little annoyed when I see people put up in either OOC or tweet that, hey, I'm dead, come get me, stuff like that. If you're dead, you can't talk. I, um, and the, sometimes when we've gotten down to go get people, we pick them up, and they just kind of like either wander off or be like, oh, I'm totally fine now. My leg hurts. It was, I know it was kind of what more of what I'm nuts at, too, but – you guys have got to get a little more creative with that and more like that because it's it's getting really old for us. Well, it's okay because soon, um, I think Romp is working this. I'm not for sure. We're going to make it to where it's going to disable your hotkey to talk in game. Yeah, we even text killed. chat. Um, voice chat. Hey. Oh, voice chat. I mean, I get because it's happening in text chat. We'll see. I'm dead. I need EMS. It's like if you're really dead, you can't talk and. We, it probably wouldn't hurt to disable text chat because then it forces them to use the phone to call 911. I have a comment yeah, on this. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not everyone who goes down, you know, some of them RP it is like whatever, like they're shot, but they're not actually dead. So we kind of like if an officer goes down and they're, you know, shot, like yeah, they're dead, but like some of the situations don't always RP is like they're actually dead. So I think that disabling the voice does kind of hinder it because a lot of interactions we have with them is like, sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And they'll be all making grumbly noises and stuff. So I think that'll actually hurt the RP a little bit for EMS, uh, in my opinion. Can you, hey, Romp, is there a way to make it to where when you press the hotkey it's a bunch of mumbling and grumbling? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be possible. I mean, it just muffles the voice. But mm, yeah, it's not really that feasible. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm I get I get that um, with the whole thing. I just I'm more saying less like don't just say you're dead. I mean, if we roll up on you and there's a lot of blood and it looks like you got shot in the head, you know what? We're gonna call you dead right there. Um, but it's just we the past week this weekend and stuff. We had a, I, I just had a lot of those and it was just kind of starting to get old. Um, so. Crisis, but can we make sure all LEO marked down felonies and other charges on the CAD? I've been to jail a couple of times, had been pulled over, but the only ones that showed up on the CAD are when Josh and Joe pulled me over. Just make it more realistic. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to be working with Fulton on this, but we're going to start enforcing the CAD being used because if um, if people start going to jail, it's not showing up in the CAD. I'm going to find out who arrested them, and when I do, uh, you're going to have to go back through training. So the CAD's going to be strictly enforced. Mm -hmm. um, secondly is, and I know everybody's going to cringe when you hear this, but, um, or you know what, we'll just hold off on that. Uh, let me discuss that with staff some more. Um, Gary. Incident reports. Oh, come no. on. I want to hear the moaning. No. I know what you were going to say. No, no we we'll don't want that. It. We'll discuss it with staff <laughs> first. Um, why are you grabbing Fallen? You're going to be there. Um, Just because I want to hear all the civs complain. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? I'm dying to know. All right, Soup. Hey, guys. Um, so... I started just an observation, not really a question. I started on the server there a couple of weeks ago before the in-game currency system went down. And when I first joined the server, I was given $5,000, which was a blessing. I now see that as a blessing that I was able to have that little bit of cash. Um, and then with that, over time, you know, meeting great people on the server, um, I was able to learn how to do other things, shipwreck salvaging and stuff like that. And I've made a bit of currency. I had a guy join. Uh, he he was new to the server a couple of days ago, and when he started off, he had it was absolutely nothing, and he didn't know what to do and he didn't know where to go. And so I, I felt bad for him. I gave him ten thousand dollars cash to get him started, uh, but I'm just wondering: is there a how-to section? Like, is there a 
uh, a folder here on Discord that they can go and say, well, here's how you can make money. You can go become a shipwreck salvager, and here's what you actually got to do. Because even though I changed my title at the job center to shipwreck salvager, I may still not know what to do. Like, you guys are all uh, pros, and you've been playing this game a long time. But someone like me, I actually only just picked this up a couple of weeks ago after not touching it in almost two years. So um, here's here's what's about to happen. And some people are going to cringe, but get over it. Um, we're going to level the playing field. Um, all jobs are going to make the same amount of money. Um, and the reason for doing that is it's going to incentivize the fact for people to do drugs. It's going to incentivize um, that stuff. I hope it's a small amount. You'll see. And I actually have I actually have one more thing to say as well. Uh, if you want to see a really great RP that uh, named Nut and I and a couple of others did last night in, involving an ambulance and the ambulance crew, by all means, go down to the um, live streaming uh, live stream videos channel, and uh, they they uploaded that last night, and it's a good laugh. That was hilarious, and that was totally impromptu. And I want to thank everyone involved with that because that was that was awesome. <laughs> you know what? That was one of the since I've been on this server two weeks. That was the best interaction so far. But the amount of money will be discussed amongst the staff uh, to make a decision. Um, so that will soon to be, and uh, it will test it out and see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to the all different amount on the jobs. Um, and so we're going to test that out. We'll make a test run at it. Let's see how it works. Uh, let's see, primordial. A uh, couple quick questions on the uh, LEO side uh, for the s state cars. We have like three different skins depending on which vehicle you pick. Uh, is there an ETA on when all state vehicles will have the updated black and white skin? We're working on that right now. Okay, awesome. Uh, other question is, uh, last week and in, in last week's meeting, it was touched on uh, about drug busts that FIB had to be involved. Well, my concern and uh, a lot of other LEO that play at the same time of day as me, their concern as well, is that there are large chunks of time uh, at certain periods or times of day where there are no FIB online. And that leaves the LEO that are online that have not been accepted into FIB, you know, very little to do. And it also leaves the civilians or criminals, however you want to say it, you know, that are trying to get drugs, like large chunks of time to where they can just do whatever the heck they want and with no repercussions. Now, a few days ago, uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but a different staff member came in because of this issue and said in Discord that, well, if no FIB are on, then LEO should, normal LEO should be able to, to some degree, initiate a drug bust. So I think that for myself and all other LEO that are playing at these times of day, we need some clarification on what to do in this instance. So here, here's the deal with that. We had originally went to FIB only doing drug bust. The problem is we don't have enough on. So I'm going to speak with staff. Our next step that I'm contemplating is we're going to go back to having a drug unit. Um, because at this point, um, I mean, there's not enough FIB on to just be doing drug bust. And so at this point, we're probably going to be going back to training um, LEOs for drug bust. And that will be required training that you cannot get involved in drug bust unless you've been trained. Okay. And so you can act as traffic backup or something like that, but you can't be actually involved in the drug bust unless you've been trained. A uh, quick question. Sorry uh, to interrupt. Um, if, say, there is a report of gunfire actually happening at said um, farming point for drugs, uh, do LEOs have permission to actually engage and actually go? Oh, definitely. Yeah. They don't go in by themselves, though. Yeah. They don't go in by Excellent. themselves, though. Yeah, if someone if killed or shot if, at the drug place, you're allowed to go there? If you're okay. going no, to... to if you're going to a drug location, there needs to be at least two or three officers en route. There, no officer needs to go by themselves. Uh, okay, can I also say something about this? Yeah, go. Because the whole gang unit and thing. Um, 
I'm sure you guys all saw the uh, post that I put on the LEO chat about gang units. So gang unit is going to be doing drug busts. So whoever wants to get in on that, like I said, just send me a PM. And I'm going to make a list. And then we'll do training and train cops on how to do drug busts and undercover work. Um, stuff like that. So just send me a PM um, if you want to join the gang unit. Okay. So um, that's where we'll go with that. But yes, if there's shots fired at the drug farm, uh, you do need to respond. That'd be like any other call, except you just need to take more precautions. Um, ball stat, the, the problem with that is there's there's a lot of work that has to be put into that, and right now we're not going to worry about that. Um, DAG. Oh, yeah. So, also, this is also about robbery. If you're going to rob something, and please don't just rob it and cancel it, because most of the Leos end up dropping everything, what they're doing. Like, maybe on a traffic stop, we have to go to the robbery. So, if you're just deciding to robbery and just don't click on it, cancel right away, please. That's just my... And also, if you... Um, if you're deciding to go on off-roading while getting in a chase in a cop car and you don't have a, um, what's it called, off-roading vehicle, please don't go over, like, 60. Because, like, even if you have, like, off-road tires, it doesn't mean that you're not going to still mess up your vehicle. Are you talking about what now? The off-roading vehicles. I mean, off-road. When you're when getting you're in a chase. vehicles? Yeah, yeah. It is a civ vehicles. This has already been brought up. If you're in a civ vehicle and you're not in an off road vehicle, uh, that's a that's a uh, fell RP. Um, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be taking a Mercedes to a field. That's just not realistic. Hey, I had a I had a server where um, if your vehicle went off road, it actually slowed your vehicle down. It was like a dampener thing. So if your vehicle was an off-road vehicle, then like uh, like if you had a Mercedes or something and you started driving off-road, it slows your vehicle down to like 30 to 40 miles an hour. This one something already like slows it down. Uh, real quick, I want to touch on the off-road for the LAO vehicles. The rule was set to 25 miles per hour uh, for regular cars if you're in like a charger or a crown vic and you go on a dirt road but if you have auto patrol engaged it automatically puts you up to 35 so um i guess my question is is can we just go ahead and and uh boot that limit up to 35 since that's what the uh auto patrol does yeah we'll make it 35 but here's the thing really in all honesty I wouldn't chase a vehicle like that off road. If we've got Air One in the air, just let Air One fall because eventually they got to come out of the field at some point. Well, no, I'm not necessarily like off road. I'm not talking about like going over hills and mountains and stuff like that. Just like a dirt path, like uh, for example, the dirt road that uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is parallel in between Sandy Airfield and uh, Joshua. You know yeah, that. No, that... About. So you're saying just to make it like 35 on dirt road. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome because, like I said, whenever you engage auto patrol and it takes you on a dirt road, it automatically automatically puts you up to thirty five. So That's you're fun. you're automatically breaking a rule if the rule is twenty five and the AP puts you at. Um, if you're on a dirt road, that's fine. I'm talking like if you're driving through a field. Right. No. 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 If, I, I mean, if I'm at a Charger or a Crown Vic or something like that, I'm not. I'm not going off road. Yeah. At all. Yeah, and so if something like that, you're just going to be boloed. We're not hunting for you, and if Air One's in there, Air One's just going to follow you until you get out of the car. Can't wait right. to see Air One more. Do yeah, what? and uh, contain the situation more rather than uh, take your car off off road. Well, the problem is they're going to do all the work getting away, but Air One's going to be following, and they ain't going to get away. So, um, let's see. Do you want? No, vehicle prices are not going to be reduced, and we're actually, um, I've contemplated getting them to take supercars out. Because every time somebody drives a supercar, it seems like they don't want to make a traffic stop. They want to run every single time. And that gets really annoying. Uh, 
same goes for uh, super bikes as well. It's just really difficult to keep up uh, when you do a, uh, a traffic stop, and as soon as you get out your vehicle and your your backups arrive, they just go, and yeah. the secondary just cannot catch them. It's just ridiculous. And nine times out of ten, like we've discussed, it is the the hookah chow. Um. Let's see. Okay, boss. Yeah, my bad. Um, I I was with the mechanic yesterday. Some twelve year old kid. He had no idea what he was doing. I just wanted to know if the mechanics could have a training too, because he just came to me and he just started breaking my car. He didn't even know how to fix it or anything. A twelve year old kid. Yeah. That's a ban. He just came to your car and broke your car so you had to fix it. Yep. And he was a mechanic too. He just, I guess he. I don't know. I, yeah, he probably went with Buell. That's a ban. You can call a different mechanic. <laughs> I couldn't, because he was the only one on. Yeah, next time that happens, notify a staff member, because he needs to be banned. Yeah, I reported it too, but nothing happened. Okay. There may not have been a staff member on was a problem. Okay. That's it. Uh, are you talking about somebody running? That saying they can't be found like a bush or such, Jatot? I don't know, we'll skip over that and come back. Uh, Sway, you had one more question? He typed. Uh, Jatot did. Respond. That's what the helicopter's for. Helicopters got heat sensors on it. I think uh, Jatot was talking about the voice. Uh, this is back with the voice with the. Um... EMS thing. If like if you get knocked out, you take you guys taking away the voice. Sometimes like if they're not dead, um, to be able to find them in the bush or something. That's what they're talking about. Well, if you call EMS, they there's it sends them a marker of where you're at, and they can find you on the marker. Uh, Is that well, when broken. that starts working? Is it not working yet? It, no, I know, but I know Romp is working on it. So yeah. All right, Sweat, you had another question? Yeah, I, I guess I've become the voice of this, and I've had a couple, couple people PM me about it. Um, <clears throat> we haven't got our shipment in of tasers yet, and I was wondering if you could resend me the tracking number to find out where they're... <laughs> Forrest, you got a question? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even answering that either. Uh... Let's see, sir, 666, uh, get with somebody that does the drugs and they can help you out with that because I literally have no freaking idea. I've not any, done any drugs on the server, so I don't know. Come to me. Yeah, find Dag the Drug Lord or something or Kingpin, whatever you want to call him. Okay, no. Not the right people. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're looking at reducing that wolf. We'll let you know. Uh, I do have a bug for romp, but uh, I didn't want to. Look, put keep it your in bugs chat. to yourself. Nobody wants your insects. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want anybody to be No STDs. EG Todd, if you have STDs. There's a difference when it's EMS. And it's off-road. EMS has diesel ambulances, so that's a different story. Sorry, I'm answering questions and being topped in. Can we add in more boats like larger boats? With her cargo capacity. No, we're not adding a fuel mod back in the server. We had one. We took it out because um, it was costing a lot of money. Yeah, cops kept running out of gas during chases. Shut up, Fulwin. <laughs> <laughs> Can you increase the tank size of the cop cars? Well, Fulwin, when you're actually working, you don't have time to remember the gas, so... <laughs> but the station was right down the road. 
you say what you got to say to help yourself sleep better at night. I'll sleep. I'll sleep fine with it or without it. EMS don't run out of fuel like Leah's because we're way smarter. Mm -hmm. okay, all right, let's in here, bud. Yourself, buddy. Hey, what is it? The firemen that sit at the station and eat all the time and do nothing with their life? Yep. Yeah. And jack Tell off. Them, Josh. Hey, about Dude, you're, <laughs> hey, hey, look, you're talking to the wrong person. I worked in the EMS field for a long time, and uh -huh. I got lots of comments about firefighters. Oh yeah, we're talking about Fireboy Cap. He's a sissy. One hose jockeys. <laughs> 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 The, Watch it. The hose extenders? <laughs> what, they like to play with the hoses? Can't fault them for that. <laughs> yeah, they like big things, man. Hey, that's a sensitive subject. Dag lost his hose last night. Why do you think little boys like to play firemen? Yeah. <laughs> I, still, I still will forever get... There was a TV show. I hear what TV show it was. They told a guy, said, hey... Your first job is to go out there on the truck and find a hose extender. And so this dude's digging all over the freaking fire truck, can't find one. He come back, he goes, man, I can't find one. He said, because you are the hose extender. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, 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 I uh, uh, ever heard, whoever that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh Quick comment based off of something that was said a minute ago about a 12-year-old kid. Yeah, some young kids are, you know, what you would expect out of young kids, but some go beyond what you would expect, and we need to show them the same respect that we would adults. I mean, for instance, today I pulled over somebody, and I gave them a fix-it ticket because their vehicle wasn't coming back in CAD, and that was for $100. Well, come to find out, their, their tag it had a zero instead of an O. And when I re-ran it with that zero, it came back. I felt bad. I got the kid. I brought him to the bank, and I gave him triple what I took from him. So uh, just remember that. You know, like I, I'm, I'm friends with a couple of people in different communities that are only 13, 14-year-old kids, and they've been coding and programming since they were seven or eight, and they're smarter than I am. You know, so just keep that in mind when you deal with kids in the server. Not all of them are childish and immature. Uh question is directly for romp uh is there any possibility that we could get it to where the auto patrol will uh go towards waypoints again uh yes yes i remember actually i removed that on accident um and i just never went around to adding it back so yeah i can i can look at adding it back awesome and, thank you Andrew, uh, your question sorry go ahead i interrupted you me? Yeah, wasn't you going to say something? No, 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 you're good, you're good. Oh. So, Andrew, to your question, that's going to be a negative. We're not putting custom cards back in the server. We just took them out because it was causing server lag. So, we will have GTA default cars. And no, we're not putting the fuel script back in. That's, we've discussed amongst staff, it's not going back in. Yeah, go ahead and come on out of the building uh, guns blazing. You'll probably get loaded up with some AK-47s, too. <laughs> and there's you probably going to be... AK-47 into this game? The officers have access skin. to it. Not an AK-47. We do? No, absolutely not. No, not an AK-47. I thought we no, had access to an AK. AK-47? A police <laughs> issue? Have you heard of that? A police no, issue? we have like an M14 and an MP5. That's right, M14. Okay, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. also, just to FYI to you jokers that want to come out of the building guns, boys, there also might be guys across the street with sniper rifles, so be careful what you do. Oh, please, <laughs> yes. Swat roll, swat roll. Swat train. No uh, custom uh, cars uh, will never be coming back. What are you talking about adding people to the DNR list? Do not resuscitate. Do not, don't worry about it, Josh. <laughs> Give us our tasers or you'll be added to it, Josh. I can resuscitate myself, Joker. Well, that's I just kill not you very RP. <laughs> we need uh, a coroner. We need that a is coroner. true, we do need one, yeah. We need Barner. You're yeah. super coroner. We need his van and the game stat. Or his van. No, we'll use... We'll, we'll, no, never mind. I ain't bringing it up here. I don't know if I'll offend anybody. 
sir. Uh, recessing your tech. Oh, I'm sorry. Recessing you know what? If you get offended, you get offended. I'm no. We'll use Joe's van that says uh, I give out free candy in his Michael Jackson suit for the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The fuck was that laugh? I swear, if you do that again, I'm gonna kick <laughs> you, you out call? of here. Who was that, dude? No, that, that was, was me. <laughs> no, that was me for uh, oh. the uh, the Michael Jackson. He <laughs> oh, thanks for burying me for something I didn't do. It makes you feel loved. Makes you feel loved. <laughs> oh um, yeah, my mom and dad don't show that affection for me. No, you don't need to be able to talk oh. while you're dead because that's why you have text chat to to report it. Uh, no, do, I, I don't want to join dispatch. Fallen, I'll pass. I do have something to say about the police cars. Uh, whenever you put somebody in the back of a police car, it automatically gives them a shotgun. Uh, right. I thought that was fixed. It's not. All right. You got it. No, it's just it's just a I have to disable vehicle rewards. It's very easy. Just give me a second. I got it. That was for everybody else, Josh. It's not always about you. No. I suggest to the civs if you're gonna call for your an EMS for your own body, make it anonymous so you can pretend it's a bystander calling. Ooh, I like that. I still got our DMS, You was playing a tweaker. <laughs> you probably need to be ran over because that's probably the only that's gonna kill you if you were tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck's tweaking? <laughs> Cause I run you over myself right here, right now. <laughs> Dude, I've dealt Even with tweakers on the server. I've dealt with tweakers at work. <laughs> Them jokers are nuts. <laughs> I've been attacked by people on K two. I've been bit, I've been kicked, I've been punched by drunk people. Oh, K2 is nice. You're not a law enforcement officer. Eh. It's really funny because people on meth think that everybody in a tie is a, uh, is a cop. Really? Well, if they're yes. a cop, I have to tell you they're a cop. I was sitting in the drive through. That's oh, false, no. sir. That's... That was fake news. I was sitting in a drive -thru No, last it's not night. fake news. Every person I have seen that it's had meth in their system, they saw somebody with a cop, had, saw somebody that had a tie on, they thought, oh, yes, sir, there's a cop. Oh, no, I'm talking about whoever said whoever's a cop, they have to address themselves as a cop. That is fake. That was a joke. Okay, well, uh, thanks for the joke. You're on DNR, right? Yeah. Your face is a joke. You. You're on DNR. <laughs> That's hot. Say that again, but louder. God, our list is getting so big. Two pages now. Okay. Uh, what is with the FR dag? Are you trying to speak French or something? Oh no, I was uh, replying to uh, the one of the comments that uh, "Where's the dispatch?" I was like, "For real." Oh. Um. What do you want to say? Whatever your name is, GT Ot. So, and real quick question I have is, is there a specific rule that says if you get uncuffed in a police station, you can't run out of the unlocked front door? It is real. It is not realistic to run out the front door after you've been uncuffed. Use the back door. Go ahead. Try to go out that back door. You ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> I'd also like my to... My re just let me say this right quick. My recommendation to the LEOs is if you're in Sandy Shores, take them down to the jail downstairs, put them in a cell, and lock it. Because then you've got them locked in. They can't go anywhere. Hey, Josh. So we have an officer trying to uh, race a civilian vehicle. He just, he's, th he's about to threaten me with a taser. Uh, who would this be? Um, hey, I'll, I'll get on. Phone, let me there. know who it is, and I'll deal with them. Um. 
Oh, and for my statement, I'd like to officially go on record that Anita has no current STD, so if you catch something... Uh, it's after, Trooper... After it's State her. Trooper 177. What happened? <laughs> Dad, are you trying to race civilian vehicles? Yeah, oh, no, I was right trying to chase him there. At my ass. He just said, nah, bro, <laughs> we're trying to race here. I heard you. Don't even be... Hey, don't slide across my vehicle like that. We'll, we'll deal with this outside this meeting. Um, but yes, nobody catches anything from me. I've cleaned up myself. I'm a classy lady, and you got to go bark up somebody else's tree. For yeah, that's what the drug addict said last. That's what the drug addict said last week too. <laughs> Why don't you come by the fire station? Could... We'll finish that plastic surgery with those saws. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that is actually something I did want to ask is I don't know if my 5M is just retarded, but no matter how many times I try and register, I can never have female face options in the character. Me either. Well, I was trying to tell you something. Uh, Andrew, no, we're not going to be tweaking the gun store deal. Um just means you're ugly no matter what sex you change. Why was the mini uh, pumper changed from the truck to an actual fire truck? Because we needed more fire trucks. Uh, I guess, that, that, can we actually get fires? Because I feel like Cap's getting bored. I have a quick question. Would it be possible for you to be LEO and EMS or fire at the same time? Negative. Fuck. The fire department Negative. could have an arsonist that runs around the sets. Big script fires. Eventually, be... once we have enough yeah. EMS guys, um, eventually, once we have enough EMS guys, we will, uh, um, we'll have a fire investigator. Will y'all be adding jerry cans so that people can start fires? Uh, Lars, I don't know why you're having trouble because I get about 60 to 70 frames per second, so. There's something to do with your computer. Yeah, yeah I'm on a button 90 for mine. Yeah. yeah. What's your statement, Sweat? I'm almost scared to hear it. It's all right. It's not bad. Whatever is if happening... If it's about a taser, I'm fixing to kick you out of this chat. That... That... No! Not... Hey, no, no. you're the one that started this. <laughs> I understand that. But, okay, regardless of whatever's going on with 177, he is my favorite LEO, and I am standing by that for... I'm sure he is. If he's racing you, he probably is. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Primordial, what's your question? Uh, not a question. I just wanted to say, and you know who you are. Quit calling me a fucking woman in the server. Sorry. Uh, whoever you are, if I catch you, I'm going to ban you for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> um... Wait, I must know. Do you actually RP as a woman, or is that just no? Like no, they know who they are. We got a couple people that like to be uh, quote unquote silly and call me an old lady cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're calling you old lady cop, I can't ban them for that. That's too daggum funny. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. You son of a bitch. Six oh six. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It it's not a mod, large because we're not having any trouble. So I don't know. Um, for what it's worth, I downloaded GeForce Experience. It ran some things, and now instead of me having to run on low, I'm back to running very high on just fine. <laughs> oh. Primordial is now the elderly woman police officer. All right, guys. I need all I the so I will catch you guys later. Uh, right, hopefully, right. maintenance will be done by tomorrow. It, it, right. it, it, the main server's up, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I have to, I have to get out of here. But uh, uh, hopefully, it's done tomorrow tonight. But if it's done tomorrow, jail, thanks for starting to use a dev server and not taking down the main server. Yep. Very smart. Um, well, yeah. Bye. Can we... uh, so yeah, good. we'll look at doing that crisis, but it's going to take some work. Can I make a comment about romp? I have never talked to anybody who's more wiry <laughs> and high energetic. As Seriously, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Romp is the most dedicated person on this server. Oh, he's great. 
I don't feelings care. Are I'm a dedicated police officer. I don't care what people say. All joking aside, all together, Romp is the most dedicated person on the server. I believe um, it. He spent yeah, more I time on the server than I have, even as the owner. He's an angry and so, some days. I went oh, to check. Something. I went to check to my time to see how long I'd been on, and he checked his. I think he's probably been on about fifteen hundred more hours than I have. Gee. Yeah, so Romp is committed to this server, and so um, everything he does, he loves what he does, and he's told me he gets joy out of writing scripts. So, please be very considerate of him. He uh, and he he puts a lot of work into what he does. Um, All right, guys, I'm gonna go too. I told Rump I'll help him out. So. Bye. Later, action. Joe, what are you hiding for being quiet? Yeah, just delete this hang guy. Hang on, hang on. Where, where'd he go? Did he leave? <laughs> no, he's still here. Come on, Joe, speak up. Don't got no love for you. <laughs> so it's the reason why I became Melio, because it looks enjoyment when he does it on his uh, streams. Come on, people, speak up. He's driving. That's illegal to talk and drive on your phone. But he just texted. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I would have you for you for that. Hey, out of character while we're in the middle of a scene. Because people are live streaming. And when a lot of officers live stream, and when you go, hold up, out of character, or, or you start screaming fail RP in the middle of dealing with police, no, that's that's a no-go. That ruins, that ruins streaming completely. When you've got a bunch of people watching your stream, and all of a sudden you're like, hey, fail RP. That guy's failing RP. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, well, on shoot. that, even if you're not streaming or recording or something, that's just that ruins it for for anybody. So I've gotten to a point where if somebody starts saying out of character, I'll just be like, nope, don't do that. And if they do it again, I just walk. I say we all wait on Joe to get home to make him get on and talk. Amen. I can wait. Yeah. I got I more questions. I got more questions I can ask because shit just keeps popping into my. I don't know. Give Fallon a minute. He might would. give you a run for his money. You might give him. He uh, he might give you a run for your money. <laughs> um, so, I don't. I don't mean to interrupt anything. Um, but I would prefer to talk some. It, it, whenever this thing is over, because um, I'm just kind of sitting and waiting. Um, I'd prefer to talk some about the situation sooner than later. Yeah, I'll we'll catch you afterwards. Okay. Um, hey, I hadn't forgotten. Okay, hey Josh, I got something for you. Go ahead. So three things that a lot of people in here, when they're streaming, they don't like. If you guys get complaints about officers leaving the scenario, is if we're live streaming and you're dropping the F-bomb every other word and we walk away, or we instantly jail you for 20 minutes, it's not anything personal. It's you destroying our stream status. You dropping the N-word, saying F you multiple times doing high slurs, we're going to send it up to the admins. We're going to jail you for 20 minutes. You leave, your time doubles. We sent you to jail for 20 minutes so an admin can go to you and talk to you about what you did wrong. It's not that. Even if you start dropping racial slurs, that's a perma ban. And it's not just that. You oh, yeah. folks need to realize, Joe just got Twitter affiliate. If you make him lose it, <laughs> me and you are going to have problems. I think, honestly, I, I don't. I get that people were saying, you know, the F bombs and stuff could be an RP. There's just no place for it. I mean, there, you can be cr more creative than that. Anyone can say F the pigs. I mean, that's just not creative. I, I challenge people what to not. What if you're quoting NWA? Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it can be funny, but I, people can be more creative. I think I, 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 think I challenge night, everyone to try and limit it. I mean, it's just, I'm going to be really upfront and honest with you and just give you my philosophy. People that have to, have to consistently curse lack the vocabulary to, to properly express themselves. That's Shit, like I'll give right. you a middle finger. People that consistently have to cuss and everything else lack the proper vocabulary to express themselves. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with that. And In so... I try really hard not to. And I'm not saying... That bomb, and that's not to insult anybody. It's just very frustrating to be... And that's why I've not even started streaming because of the fact... I can't tell you how many times I've pulled somebody over and they've started cussing me out. And so, I mean, I want to stream, but at the same time, I don't want that on my stream. 
And I know, so, but sorry. You break the law, you break the law. A ticket's a ticket. I think there's too much at risk with people streaming and recording. I mean, if it it gets in there, they'll straight, you know, cut your pull your video off the service, and it's just like, what's what's the point? I, I think it just needs to. I think people really need to work hard on. I don't think it should be, you know, a rule not to swear, but I think people really need to to be a little bit more creative. I yeah. think it may there's also a help. Between Kimmel was saying, if you're going to be throwing out the f bomb every other word, like you're on the block talking to your homie or whatever, I don't care. Look, I was in the military. Yeah, we throw a lot of f bombs here and there, but we always knew when it was time to be respectful, right? Exactly. And you Listen can start to- limiting vocabulary even though when you're off duty yeah we we are the worst in the world to talk to because every word is practically the f-bomb but check it out you don't have to use swear words to get your point across right this is an rp server it's role play it's it's supposed to be based off of real life in real life um but where i'm from you don't just walk around and hear people just every single word being the f-bomb and f that and f this I mean, yeah, you hear it a lot, but it's not like, okay, I got to leave because this guy's just, no. Full of the people that are in here. Yeah, it's a game. We want you to have fun. We want you to RP with us. We want you to enjoy your time. But there's also some rules for like YouTube or Twitch or, you know, some of these other things that when people are making videos and posting them, guess what? If there's sexual content, even if it has something to do with any kind of sexual harassment or whatever, guess what? That video gets flagged. Oh, he raped me. Guess what? That video now gets flagged because somebody said that in the video. And you could lose your ability, your entire, your IP could be banned from posting because you're using that kind of language on certain platforms. And this server has a zero tolerance policy for any sexual RP at, of any kind. If you're going to start doing other things that it's just be mindful of the fact that we do have younger players on here, right? We, like you guys said, there's 12 year olds. Yeah, I get it. We have younger players. We have kids that are as young as eight, seven, and six that are watching the YouTube videos that Joe and Josh and Kimmel and a lot of these other guys play. So as they're watching them, I mean, these are families that are having fun. A lot of you guys, because you guys watched, uh, Paul Cat bugs or or faviano you know and a lot of you are and you've Absolutely. said it in your interview but you have to understand that a lot of people that watch those videos they find out about our server and they're like oh okay cool and then they come over and we've got the people that we have talking and cussing and saying all kinds of things like that then it's like oh wait i can't show this to my kids i can't let my kids watch this this yes. is too adult make, i'm gonna make a comment about the family thing so about half the time Joe streams, I actually throw it up on my TV in the living room because I may not be playing, but I like I enjoy watching it. One, I enjoy having it up because it supports him by having a, a person viewing, and two, I enjoy just listening to it and and the interaction. So if I got my kids running around and you know Joe is not one to to start swearing, but if he's interacting with someone and they start blowing it off, I mean you know my kids are now hearing that. It's it's yeah. risky and it's unfortunate. It's just because... a, it's, it's if you go all the way back to the meeting, beginning of this meeting, it's it's what name that said. It's about respect. And if I have one thing that I can teach all of you, it's respect for yourselves and respect for others. And to, to have a good RP scene does not mean you need to cuss. You can have a good RP scene without dropping F-bombs and all that stuff. It does not require you to cuss. No, um, and I want to remind you all, too, that not just when you're in game, but if you come and you watch Joe in, in particular, like his stream on Twitch or YouTube, and you start dropping curse words or racism or anything like that in the chat. I'm a moderator in his streams on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, There are several other members in this community that are as well, and none of us will tolerate that at all. We will catch you and we will ban you in a heartbeat, the same as you would be in the server. It all comes down to respect. Uh, Another thing to throw out, guys, is our YouTube channels that we do for streaming is tied to this community. We put a tag on the top that says LSDOJ on there. So people will see our community come in. They see people failing bad while doing a live stream. They're not going to want to join the community. So that's what you guys got to keep looking at is when we're streaming, it's for to help the community to bring players in. 
and players who are not on can watch and keep up with everything that's going on. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to make a point of this, to, and I'll shut up, I promise. But <laughs> <laughs> You got mm-hmm. jokes, Fallon. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not for two years old. If, if you have to deal, deal with me in-game, I'm, I, I respect everybody. I'll talk to you the same as I'm talking to you now. I don't raise my voice. I don't yell at you. I respect you. I'll let you have your word. I'll let you have your, you know, put your point across. But check it out. If I ban you, whether it's a one day, three day, week, whatever, it's because you deserve it. Because you have interfered with the RP of others. Whether it's VDM, RDM, language, stuff like that. If I permanently ban somebody, it's because they absolutely have no interest in following the rules and doing what they're supposed to do to enjoy their time on the server. This is about having fun. We honestly are a stupid family. People that we don't well, I mean, like. We have the people that we only tolerate. We have the people we like. You know what I mean? But but we have to be able to respect each other. We don't have to like each other, but at least show the, re- the basics of respect. And again, if I talk to you on the server, it's not personal. It's not personal if I show up to you as the admin, full in, and I say, hey, man, I'm a full in. I'm one of the admins here on the server, and I've got a problem with what you were just doing. And I will talk you through it. That's how I do it. I'm talking to you about it before I do it. Or if you start running and you keep running and stuff and I get your name, I'll I'll ban you even if I can't. But if I ban you and you see my name attached to it, you absolutely come and DM me. Come talk to me through Discord and I'll talk to you about it. But it's because you have disrespected the server. You have disrespected the people that are trying to be on here and have fun. I'm a disabled combat veteran. I have to tell you 100% that I use this game I live vicariously through this game. My life, I'm, I'm 37 and I'm retired. I broke my back and pelvis in combat. And yeah, I don't walk very well. But I, So I live vicariously. If I hadn't gotten injured, I'd be a police officer in real life. Okay, yeah, do I? It, it's kind of nerdy. I get it. But community, I love the camaraderie. Same uh, thing I had when I was a and so, But everything has to be based off respect. And so I will respect you if you get banned. Talk to me. Um, If you get banned by other supervisors or, uh, sorry, other staff members, come talk to me about it. I'll help you figure out what you did wrong. I'll help you deal with it. But be respectful of the staff. We aren't better than you. We aren't worse than you. It's just we decided that we would step up to the plate and deal with the bullshit and try to get everybody has a fair play. That's what staff is here for. They're not to say I'm better than you, I'm bigger than you. You know, it, no. We RP, we play, we have fun. We screw up sometimes, and Josh pulls us aside and says, You fucked up. Because we're staff, like we're better than thou. No, Josh will pull our tags and ban us in a heartbeat if he sees us screwing up. Because we do represent this community as much as you do. Um and Joe just posted a second ago in the deal about his getting a Twitch fill, and he's close to getting verified on YouTube. Um, he said that at some point he has to ditch three hours of his recording because of belligerent people. That's that's unacceptable. There's no reason why he should have to ditch three hours of his recording because somebody's belligerent and consistently dropping f bombs. There's mm-hmm. no reason for it, and so. That being said, from here on out, I mean, when if that stuff starts, and I mean, it it puts his stuff in jeopardy. You're gonna, I'm gonna ban you for 24 hours. I don't have a problem doing that. I'm not gonna jeopardize him getting his YouTube ver his uh, YouTube verified when someone decides that they just want to cuss nonstop. I'll ban you for 24 hours. I don't have a problem doing that. If and I may so, just quickly, sorry, interject here. Uh, with me, Fulham, and Dag, uh, oh, sorry, I can't tonight with regards to those two kids. They were really young. One was screaming constantly, and none of us were swearing uh, directly to them. We were telling them to calm down. This is an RP server. Again, you need to play the part. Um, and again, things can get out of hand. I got a bit heated because, again, um, they rode me over twice. Um, fall and go hit twice, and again, it's justified in terms of what he did with the, with one of them being banned for like 
three days. Yeah, and and that's a bannable offense. And Volan has access to all that stuff to ban people. But I'm talking about people in general. When you pull somebody over, or you take them to jail. The excessive cussing that happens is ridiculous. Yeah, uh, and again, that's that's part of the the reason why they get the ban. But again, obviously, if if Joe is stre- uh, streaming and he pulls over one of those young uh, community members and they are basically just yelling and screaming, I mean, like deathly screams, then again, it, it may actually impact his uh, um, his streams as well. Yeah, well, Mike spamming is just as bad. I'm back now. I'm actually Amen. Mike spamming is just as bad as. I mean, even if you're not cussing, but if you're just literally shoving the mic down your throat and screaming, that's just as bad. Yeah, and, and uh, it's very it's very frustrating for live streamers when people do that stuff. And so it's like Joe pointed out earlier. He's got young people that watch his channel. He don't need people screaming and cussing on there. I mean, we get enough of that in everyday life. Those of you that have to go to work every day, you get enough screaming and cussing. I see it at work enough without coming home and getting on here and then having pulling people over in game and them cussing and everything else. Is there, is there anybody from DOJ in here? See you right here. Oh, yeah. wait. No, never mind. Wait, right, well, if, if, there, if there, well, the reason I asked, I'm going to say this. I mean, if, if, if that's. If you like to just hear constant f bombs and GDs dropped every other word, then then go hang out with Polecat. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's why I don't even watch him anymore. Because he, yep. he, I mean, he can't form a sentence without dropping an f bomb. It's 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 just. Seen the Navy? Uh, no, I mean, he'll be happy. He'll be happy to continuously cuss for you. But it's, I mean, it's just frustrating. And that's why half his. I mean, well, no more than half. I would say it's probably why. I've, 70% of his videos are either de- A, demonetized, or B, run extremely limited ads. That's why he puts 15 ad breaks in his videos now, so he can make the same money as he used to be. Yeah. And so, I, I'm i just asking, tone it down with a cussing. I mean, if if there's, if you feel like you just need to constantly cuss nonstop, go find something else to do. Don't come on the server cussing. I mean, I, I, I even, I get in moods where I just want to fly off the handle and, and I mean, shoot, just go take a break for a few minutes. If you get mad, just, just chill, log off the server for a few minutes or go hide somewhere where nobody can mess with you in the server for a few minutes. Or be like go, me and go eat some donuts. It'll always make you happy. Go eat some donuts or a shot <laughs> well, of vodka and line? come back. What's the yeah. line like? Let's say you're in an RP situation where you're really getting into it. And let's say you you don't want to be elementary, but you have like one word slip. Are, are well, no, I mean, that's, that's an, an occasional word. You know, we're not saying no cussing at all. That's, that's we're talking about people that go on rampages just like cussing nonstop for no reason. Yeah, yeah. pretty excessive. I mean, people, I'll be people, a- they get arrested. And then that's what they're mad about. They're not mad. They're not RPing that they're, that they're an angry person. They're mad because they got arrested and they got caught doing something. Yeah. And they worked their butt off yeah. To get all these and now they're just pissed because of course we're going to take them from them that's our job yeah. and so we as leo we get these people that just they get so furious and it's like come on remember this is a game i understand you spent a lot of time but we have to do our job as much as you want to keep stay away from us maybe be a better criminal i don't know <laughs> and uh josh i got one thing last to add. yeah you guys don't have to do a 1080 every single traffic stop. Most Amen. of the in here don't even yes. write tickets anymore. <laughs> All we do is just run your info. If it comes back clean, we just give you a verbal warning or sometimes a written warning. If it comes to a bad thing where you did a burnout or you drifted around the corner, we're just going to chat with you, tell you don't do it again, and then you're done. You turn into a 1080, you got a crap ton of drugs on you, you get into a shootout, you shoot two cops, well, guess what? You lost your hour and a half of drugs that you collected. You died. Now you have a warrant, or if you survive, now you have a warrant for your arrest. And next time you get pulled over, you're gonna get jacked with. Exactly. You like you're we not gonna get. We're gonna. We're not gonna search you just because you're on a traffic stop. We have to have a reason to search you. So I just am, stop. Probably gonna give you a warning. Most of the cops now, we don't even give you invoices in the game unless you're not in CAD. I haven't given out a single invoice to a sieve since we started the new CAD because I'm not caring about the money. I don't spend it much. Yeah. Most of the money, me and Folan, we give out most of our money to sieves on the road. Crap, okay. Folan donated $300,000 to 
of charity. You know, it's. Hey, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. I gotta ask. Are any of you in game that just called 911? Because that just irritated the crap out of me. I just drove all the way from the city to Sandy Shores. I get there and nobody's there. Whoever's doing that crap, if you're in game and you do that, I'm going to start banning people for that. Rom's working on a tracker right now for people who dial 911. If you start calling 911 and we show up, there's nobody there. We're going to start banning people for that stuff. Because if there's not very, your if there's not very many. Your has to make sense, too. It can't just be blank or say, help, I'm dead. Exactly, and if there's not very many officers on, and you're like the officer driving from freaking Los Santos to Sandy, and we get there's nobody there. That's very frustrating. I want to make a comment Isn't about that... the 1080 real quick. Uh, as a non-Leo who's been in police comms for two weeks, I'm going to say that 1080s, from what I can tell, happen 90% of the time. <laughs> it's almost every single pull over automatically you pull somebody over they take off if it's a how could you drag well guess what you're flying over the railroad tracks you're going up a mountain we're we're not even going after bikes anymore because it's getting ridiculous people have the more you slow. keep failing rp your description is just going out uh can i can i just add something real quick um i was playing on the server even yesterday when i just got back um two things um so I got kicked yesterday because um, somebody, I guess, was starting bank ro or starting robberies at stores and then walking out. Um, oh. One, can you not do that because it ruins it for people like me that I got kicked because of s what somebody else did? Because I uh, I did one robbery where um, I had a I had a driver that was waiting outside and and the cop showed up and and I left because he alerted me to that there was a cop outside and I got kicked because. Well, they thought it was me doing the one uh, or starting and stopping robberies, but like, just don't do that stuff. It ruins it for people. And then I, it ruined my RP. And then uh, the other guy ended up got, getting kicked for it. And then it was just a whole, we never got back to our RP because it, it just ruined the entire thing. Yeah, I mean, we had a couple of them today as well. I think in the situation you were in yesterday is multiple people try to rob a store at the same time to confuse cops. And when one starts and someone else tries another one, it cancels the one you're at and starts the next one. So it seems like one person's going from each store to store, robbing it and then canceling it. And then you have cops going from one location to the next to the next. And then stopping and starting a robbery is failing RP because you're just purposely going around town, taking every cop in the server, following you around town. They didn't know at the time that it was multiple people trying to rob all the stores at once. Yeah. That's why we a lot going, of people start getting kicked is seeing a motorcycle inside yeah, Grove we Street were, gas station robbing a store. We show up and then, you know, another place is being because they see someone else. There. They think it's the same person leaving there. Does it alert you guys when we try and rob it and it says this, it's on a cool down or no? Because if, it, if it's doing that, I know that I, we were going around trying like. All the ones in Polito up and along uh, Sonora Freeway and stuff like that. We were trying to rob them, and they were all robbed and stuff. So we were working our way down. So uh, no, yeah. if it's already been robbed and and you hit it or try to hit it, and it says it's on a cool down, and you've got to wait X amount of time, no, we don't get alerted for that. Oh, okay. Because it's it's on a cool down, so it won't let you rob it, and we don't get the we don't get the notification. And the cool down is universal, right? Like if you rob one store, the cool down applies to all stores. Uh, normally, it just applies to that particular store. Yeah, it just, it, the, the in my opinion, store. I think it should apply to all stores. I think there should be at least a a five, maybe seven minute priority cool down between. That way, you know, Leo have time it. to get back and and uh, reset or whatever for the next role play scene. Because you guys definitely don't want somebody robbing the bank down the road. We have full SWAT gear out. Every half the cops are SWAT trained and going in. And then you rob a gas station down the road. Guess what? You're not making it out of the gas station with a full SWAT setup, going in with shields and gas and you know sniper yeah. rifle setup. You're screwed. Because we're all SWAT's and, already on duty. We're coming after you as SWAT at that point. Yeah. So <laughs> having a, a mandatory cooldown throughout the whole session would be a lot easier for especially a lot of civs, where you're not getting overkilled by the police showing up. That's down the street dealing with another robber. Yeah. Also, how much is the starting? Like, how much do you start with when you first join the server? Does anybody know? Mm, I have Zero. no clue. You apply for a job and you get a steady paycheck. That's weird. Okay. Then maybe yeah, you're zero. About your 100, will start you up. 
Yeah, because I have a hundred thousand dollars. So I have no idea where it came from. Well, now that could be Romp awarded. Uh, yeah, Romp, uh, Romp awarded a hundred thousand for 100, server. Yeah. Some server issues that we were having, and it was down for a while. So he awarded. So that's that's probably where that came from. Yeah, and that's for the uh, fake nine one one calls. Isn't it a uh, a like a federal offense if you place a fake nine one one call or something? In, in real life, you can be arrested for it. Yes, I mean technically it's a misdemeanor, but they they depending on what city, state, or county that you're in, you can be arrested for it. Yes. I've got a uh, like two prong question going back to the streaming stuff. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and preface this by saying. I am probably one of the worst offenders for language. So I am trying. I am now conscious of that. Um, one, do we have something in place for everyone to know when somebody is streaming so we can try and be extra on alert for watching out for what we're saying? Uh, someone posts it in live stream videos. It should be alerted to everybody that we are streaming. Right. Also, too, like if you look, which, um, like, look, if you'll see where I'm online over on the, the right side of Discord, and it says it, that way, if I'm streaming, that turns purple. If I'm, well, just on Twitch, it doesn't pick up YouTube. So, what you want to do is go to the live streams channel because everybody that live streams will usually post their, you know, a link to their stream when they start or shortly after they start streaming. add something where something like what Polcat and like the DOJs have where it shows in like the middle of the screen who's talking we do uh, I think we talked about that with Romp that we wanted something on maybe the, the that was small on the left side of the screen so we could see who was talking I think he I think that's one of the things on his list to, to work on because that, that would make it uh, a little more especially when you're you know if you've got a group of five or six people and you know you you kind of know who they are but not really you know that way you can figure out who it is that that would probably would would be very useful uh we got rid of the would make like a little bullet point here above the person's head like where their name would be or is it easier to just put it on the side of the screen uh, i think for i think it would be easier to put it on the side of the screen instead of above their head uh being above the head we used to have something that was like that when we were a public server and it just it at, it took away from the the RP factor because you always had, you did there was something about popping up above their head. It was a little frustrating. But we do need we do need something that pops up maybe on the side, bottom left, or something on the screen that that says I I agree with that. I think we do. There's Josh P is selling donuts or you know whatever it says. It shows the active character file name. Right. Oh, I got one thing to add. If you ever get medevaced by Air One for a emergency because EMS is a little too far away and we're trying to get you to the hospital and we search you when we get out of the helicopter, it's not personal. It's we're taking a weapon that gives to you. Uh, we're trying to figure out how we can. I want to see how we can figure out how to fix that, but you're given a weapon that you're not supposed to have in the game. So if we ever get an Air One, then, or you're medevaced out, you're given a weapon, we're going to search you, and we're going to take that weapon from you. We're not going to take anything else we see because we're not paying attention to that. We're just going after that one weapon so you can't use it in a game. I have a question, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I, I'm pretty new to the server i haven't played for quite a while um so i'm, I'm basically returning you know when you're doing so you know, the the job things like uh, gathering opium myth uh, rocks whatever uh you're in that green circle uh you can't put up your phone or inventory or anything like that is there anything mm -hmm. coming in that might actually be able to so you can actually check your inventory just in case you're full and, and whatnot that that actually would be a good idea that'd be something romp would have to work on put that in suggestions that that would probably be a good idea so I have experienced a couple of times where I've accidentally have hit F1 and it's made me have to um, alt F4 out of the right. game just to come back in. That's because yep. you can't do anything. Yep, yep. Yeah, stick that up in uh, in suggestions. That's something I, I, I like that. I mean, you definitely need to 
at least yeah. be able to pull up your inventory or your phone with uh, while you're while you're farming. Yeah, I mean, I don't, don't get me wrong. It comes up saying you can no longer collect blah 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 because your inventory is full, but just so then you know how close you are, so that you can just think, hey, I can jump mm-hmm. out of this now. Go do what I need. Right. Exactly. Do you have one quick random question way back from earlier, mm-hmm. like sexual RPs? Um, for the escort, does that cover like stupid shit like a dashboard special? Because I mm. realize that I've sort of that's become my mo when I play my uh, <laughs> my female persona. Right, and if bugs. that's not cool, that's right, totally bugs. fine. You know <laughs> what? Around that, Let's call you, you Samantha. Use the uh, head ducking. <laughs> And you just hit the front dashboard. That's the way around the. Oh yeah, no, that's I, that's I, what I do. I just I I realize that some guys took here. the sex animations no. out, so that's all you can do anyway. No, I, I mean I, I think doing the dashboard thing. And I mean, I personally think it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know. You know, I'd probably want to get Josh's opinion on that because it's it's not an actual, um, you know, display Acts itself. Like you, right, exactly, and it's it it is funny. You know, somebody that views it kind of sort of knows what's going on but at the same time it, it it's amusing to watch you know yeah at the same time yeah, they're laughing their ass off it's yeah. just i like i'll like tweet out about it and i realize now with everybody talking about like live streaming and stuff mm-hmm. i don't want to like step into a boundary that's been drawn not really knowing where the line lies you. right okay i didn't catch all of it what what exactly is it's the he, he's he's referring to the uh, the dashboard special that uh, the bugs used to do with um, uh, with his Samantha character uh, back when he was still with with DOJ. I mean, I I think it's fun. Like I said, I'd I'd want to get Josh's opinion on because it's not showing an actual sexual. Yeah, act. it's it's, it's not showing your head against the dashboard. It's still <laughs> of the, that uh, nature. It's implied. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it's like he's having a mosh pit with the uh, with the dashboard of the vehicle. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna get brain damage more than anything else from it. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, Apparently, fleas as well. <laughs> well, hey, that's up to you, man. That's that's on. Yeah. You. That's. I, I mean, that's that's Josh's call on that. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty funny. Um. I mean, I could. We could probably, I mean, worst case scenario, reach out to Bugs and see if it's something he ever got hit for on. YouTube or whatever, but um, I don't. I don't know. That's that's. I think it's Josh's call. <laughs> um, let's do this point. at some point. At some point, maybe me somewhere in the server, and you can show me what it is, because I've never seen. It. I don't even know what you're talking about, and so um, it's literally the duck. I, th- I think. I think he's also talking about just the the RPing as an escort in general. Not, yeah, not the, just the whole concept of not just being the escort that dances at a club, but like role-playing as a legit escort. Basically, RPing as a prostitute. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah. You guys don't want to so, like, around the bush and just jump over and say it's a prostitute. <laughs> well, <laughs> I realize if Nut you, always you records these and we were just talking about like posting videos and such. I wanted to try and be as proper as I could about the subject matter. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if. Uh... My if only concern is so if we do a video. Person. My only concern with that is if we do something like that, the video is going to need to be made eighteen and up. Amen. There is a uh, yeah, there is a uh, a mature, um kind of like a disclaimer that uh, before you watch the videos, is this this video may contain um, adult themes, so you have to then basically say yeah, okay, cool, I want to watch it, or no, I don't. So it's down to the user's discretion with uh, with Twitch, I believe. But here's the thing. Um, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to have to make my videos eighteen and up. Sure. And likewise, I don't think Joe does either. Um, and so, I mean, if it's going to be something like that, just make sure that we're not recording or streaming. Yeah, generally speaking, I only end up running into like the civs that don't record or if I do get arrested by an officer it's generally speaking for nothing even related to that because that's apparently my life. yeah I mean I don't I don't mind you doing it just don't do it to somebody that's live streaming because then they're gonna have to make their videos 18 and up 
Roger. And then I uh, did have uh, something for you, Josh. If you're not busy and uh, you're in the game right now, could you summon Sickle to the temple to you? Um, give me just a minute. Crisis has a question about chain of command. Yeah, go ahead. He he was asking about chain of command in in the the fire ranks. I I mean that kind of falls along. In, yeah, in, in my thoughts, kind of falls along with the with the ranks that yeah. we you know, that we got rid of. There's no ranking system, but. You know, I mean, as for for the RP side of it, for the role play side of it, you know, if you've got three or four fire EMS on, you know, maybe take turns or, you know, say, and I'm just looking at the the list here. Say, you know, sweat, you know, hey, I I want to RP. I'm recording or I'm live streaming. I want to RP as a as the fire chief during the shift or whatnot. You know, I, I mean, I think that would be fine. Yeah, that's too much responsibility. Yeah, that's me. what I mean. Is because we have the fire chief cards, but we don't have a fire chief to use them. Do right. this. Do this. Make it shared governance. Do you get what I'm saying when I say that? No. So when I say make it shared governance, basically say, okay, look, you're the fire chief for this amount of time. Next is I'm the next fire chief and basically circulate it around because I, I don't want the rank system coming back because I've seen too many problems with ranks of people saying, well, I'm so-and-so and I'm so-and-so. And I'm not saying you're going to do that. I'm just talking in the future. Right. I can see problems with it. So is this like the okay that we are able to use the fire chief cars now? Y'all mm -hmm. can use it, but if I'm on a scene or something and I say that, I say, well, I want your fire chief. Somebody needs to be in that role for that day as the fire chief. Yeah, RP as it. And then also, too, we don't want the fire chief being the one that, the only one that responds to a fire or an accident or a call. You know, you've got to make sure you've got a, a bus and a fire truck there, too. And the fire chief rolls up, you know, so there will be three vehicles basically that rolled up to that scene because right. the fire think, chief wouldn't roll out at a you know at a dodge charger by himself <laughs> i think uh josh or whoever's like in charge of ems needs to establish what those numbers need to be like okay in order for us to roll as a fire chief we need a fire engine two ambulances and or whatever mm -hmm. because otherwise we're just like you said we're just gonna get someone hopping in the Right, car. right, and it that can that can definitely be you know that can definitely be decided you know because we kind of got a rule amongst the Leos like that there have to be X amount of Leo on before unmarked units can roll and only X amount of unmarked units can be on duty at a same at you know at that time once that number is hit so you know there could be a and similar the, a similar yeah, standard the for other, for the fire. other one is the other one is that uh, I really want to fly that ambulance the fly flight so it's same thing we need to, de <laughs> we need to determine. What quantities of we'll work I on think, that uh, Sunday. Yeah, and I think uh, Josh, if it'd be okay with you, if our, you know, if if the the Leo uh, flight trainers could could go with them over, I mean, would that be okay? Because I mean, the the that's fine with me. The flight patterns and stuff would be the same. Plus, it would, you know, I think it would be a good idea to have some Leo and fire EMS work together and get to know each other. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine with me. So it'd be uh, who else? See, APOC and. And Kimmel, Kimmel, yeah, okay. Apoc and Kimmel are, yeah. So I mean, we could, we could, you know, if you want to get with those two guys, and see if we can get you trained for the uh, for the life flight, that'd be awesome. That was Apoc um, and Kimmel, you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The um, the other thing is, to you guys that are in here, if you want to apply for LEO or EMS, do so, um, because. Uh, the people that are going to be in, if Fulton is going to be in with the interviews with me, of course, because he's head over the training academy. And so Fulton's going to be in the interviews no matter what, um, right. because he's the one that's got to train you. And so um, I may do some interviews tonight. Um, I've got to see what happens from here. Um, but probably after this meeting, I've got a couple things I've got to do, and then I'll probably be doing some meetings. Sorry, hang on just a minute. I'm in game and somebody. 
You see that in chat. Oh, and just a FYI too, guys. When I and I don't know if you, some of you probably noticed, some of you that watch my streams, uh, some of you probably noticed that I can't see the chat when I live stream. I turn I turn the in-game chat off because it gets you know it gets too too out of control sometimes, and you know people see especially when somebody's. Again, you know, I did, were you guys on uh, a couple nights ago? Some kid was, you know, just spamming it with, you know, racist slurs and stuff, and kind of goes back to trying to keep a stream clean or whatnot. But you know, I I do, and I do apologize. But you know, I I turn the chat off when I'm streaming. It's not on at all. Was that like? And would it be possible to have the emote show up when you type slash me? Because I use that to give information during role play, especially to cops. The the now when I get into an RP scene with somebody, obviously I'll have to kind of cut the chat back on, um, and and I do hoping that it that it stays clean so that I can do the slash me. Um, but other than that, when I'm just on when I'm just on patrol, it's it's off. I turn it off. Okay. And I'm just uh, I'm gonna discuss with staff, but we're discussing even possibly eliminating the tweet deal and leaving only Fort slash report and the Fort slash me and that. Yay. Yeah, the tweet the tweet started to get uh, kind of abused. People are chatting through the tweets. And and it's not that's that's not realistic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a quick question. Sorry, go ahead. Oh. Anybody else saying anything? Go ahead. So I was just in a role play scenario where I was trying to rob a twenty four seven. What the Sorry, I don't. I don't want to swear here. What the f is up with the hit boxes? Like, like what? I just I shot around. I have a like I had a heavy shotgun or whatever. There's an automatic shotgun. I, I literally right. just full blasted a cop in the face, and and I and I move behind the wall and I get one shotted. What? Bulletproof vest. Seen it happen. So the the officer probably one probably has a vest. Number two, there is a possible because I've seen that happen before. Same things happen to me, uh, where you as a suspect, you're completely around the corner. You're not even sticking your gun around the corner, and all of a sudden I'm dead. So a lot of that uh, is is actually server lag, whether it be on your side, the server side, or maybe the other player side. A lot of it's lag. All right, guys, I just but I've got to dip out. Um, oh, okay. But uh, I'll be back on in just a minute. I've got a Matt. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll be back on in a few minutes. I've right. got some stuff I have to go take care of. Hey, Josh, real quick. Um, yeah. Tasers. <laughs> uh, just Bye, for guys. that sweat. Just Bye, for guys. that sweat. You're not gonna get one. Um, <laughs> everybody <laughs> else is gonna get one. See, now. I'm talking. I'm asking for the group. I know I'm already not gonna get one. I did not ever think I was gonna get one. You were not gonna give one. <laughs> you're like you're like Degum CNN of EMS. Oh wow, oh. That, that was a low blow. <laughs> so I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming he wants a, a taser uh, I'm fixing for the reason of you, protection. Well, no, I'm fixing to call you Jim Acosta. All right, you know what? <laughs> oh, geez. you better when you when you get killed when you get downed uh, on a crime scene. I'm I'm ignoring. All, he, all Josh needs is donuts when he's down. That I can revive right myself. <laughs> Your You're breaking RP on that one. You are at the top of our list now. Look, I'm the owner. I never break RP. <laughs> Speaking of breaking RP, I do have sort of a general question for anybody that's an LEO pertaining to an RP situation I was in last night that ended, uh, unfortunately. Um, would it help if one of us has like a particular RP that we want to play out with somebody who say in this case is an EMS. Would it help if we like let y'all know ahead of time what's going on. So it doesn't suddenly turn into a shit show. Yeah, absolutely. We want to be able to start doing planned out RPs or, right. or what we would call priorities. You don't necessarily always have to give us the details, but we are um, working on a, a priority system that will say, Hey, so uh, this guy and this guy have something that they really want to do. Be aware over the next X amount of minutes is belongs to them. That's that's their time for whether it be recording or streaming or just the pure pleasure of actually being the RP that that scene and be able to get all the way through it without being interrupted. 
So I, I have a com- I, hold on, I have a comment on this uh, because the uh-huh. situation that he's talking about, I was involved with last night, um, and I'm going to bring this up so it doesn't uh, affect him getting his ban removed. Uh, it was a, a long-going RP over weeks. Um, mm-hmm. On dispatch, I when I called in the cops, I mentioned it probably five different times that this was a legit RP thing. They're not jerking off and and mm-hmm. uh, and being dumb. And uh, about twenty minutes later, caught a ban, um, not mm-hmm. because of the RP itself, but because of how it ended at the station. Right. Um, so I th- think that a little unfair uh, given the circumstances. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why i asked my clarifying question about handcuffs i the cop unhandcuffed me and the door was unlocked and in my head i don't know about where y'all live but out here the sheriff's county offices at twelve thirty at night may only have two cops in it right. so i should think if somebody got uncuffed in the middle of the station with two sheriff's officers they might be stupid enough to try and run out of the unlocked front door right and I had done it once before with Dag, and he just tacked on the looting. Mm-hmm. But this you. particular LEO seemed to take it personal, ran out with a carbine, shot me, and said, congratulations, you're banned. Mm, okay, okay. So, sorry, sorry, be, be- uh, I just got VDM'd, and there's no cop responding to the call. Okay, this isn't this is a community meeting. This isn't yeah, to report. report. Um, do slash report in game. Cops can report to that, so we're not responding to that. Let's use the admin. Uh, but um, as, as far as that, I mean, it kind of is fail RP because well, it, it, it's twofold. Because uh, right, because the technically the Leo was at fault too, because um, in both Sandy Shores and. Uh, Los Santos, there are holding cells. Proper procedure is if you are going to be arrested, if I'm taking you in, I'm taking you all the way to the holding cells, putting you in the cell and not uncuffing you until that cell door is unlocked. So that kind of was fail on the, on the officer too. Yeah. Well, and I, I realized after the fact that, I mean, perhaps I didn't play it out the right way, but I, Mm. the, I couldn't, I had to step away for a minute, but the guy that I was RPing the situation with Nut with went and looked and couldn't find anything that said I couldn't. Right. So that's why I thought it was implied that if somebody was dumb enough to uncuff you, you could go for it. Right. So, right. And that kind of does make sense to a point because it's, it's, it's the, you know, the officer should have had you in a holding cell for sure well, have, uh, before he uncuffed you. I have one more comment on that is um, when he was uncuffed and ran out the door, there we you know, go. It's not like he he jumped in a car and drove off. It, in my opinion, it should have either turned into a foot pursuit. It should have been tased and detained and and, and it, hit with a it really should have. I mean, at that point, but you have to think we've uh, just natural reaction because we've had so many people fail RP intentionally with it that aren't trying to RP. They're just like, oh, I'm cuffed. I'm going to run. Um, you know, it, it's that's so, probably the 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 conclusion that they came oh, yeah, to no, just because I, it's happened if, so many times. And I understand that, like, if I'm cuffed and they just happen to, like, let me go and I can, like, quote-unquote walk around, I'm Mm -hmm. not going to try and run out the door. But if I was, like, physically uncuffed, I was like, this seems okay-ish. Right. And my, the the plan, had I not been shot or tased, because I thought the dude was going to pull out non-lethal, I was going to get tased and that was going to be the end of it. My plan was to run out of the door run back up to the EMS station and continue to assault nuts uh, yeah. ambulance I'm gonna say, defaming it, my sister. Right. Now, keep <laughs> in higher, mind, keep higher. in mind, it is against, and, and before you give me too much information, it is against server rules to assault, kill, kidnap, anything EMS or so fire right now. Almost everything That will change almost, eventually. Almost everything he was doing was slash me. And again, yeah. in, in police comms, right. I, okay. was, I was... Okay. Also, yeah, no, he was going. inside the ambulance. I was literally just like right. taking the side of the. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if it, again, it's a it's a planned RP. I what I would do if you've got an RP situation like that, run it by run it by one of the staff members. You know, because we don't have a system in place just yet to be able to plan priorities. Because um, in a situation, I mean, that sounds like it was a you know a long standing. It looks like it was a fun RP. 
something that's been going for quite some time. And as long as it's planned out and you have the approval of a staff member, I mean, it should be okay, but we just want to get some better communication as far as that goes. Um, and we really do need to get, you know, a priority system in place so that we can make sure that when you guys have an RP like that, you don't get interrupted. There's no misunderstandings and, you know, everybody has fun. Yeah, because I think, I think part of the issue was that the officer involved did think that I wasn't fully aware of the situation and thought I was trying to, like, cop bait <laughs> or something. No, no, no. Because when he arrested me, he threw me into the car and said, you're going away for 20 minutes. Right, right. Also, be aware, uh, the cells kind of don't work at times. You, uh, we even If we lock it and uncuff mm -hmm. you, you kind of clip through the cells easily. So maybe yeah, they're, that they're not they're not perfect. They're not no. perfect. But if you know if you are if you exploit it, that, you should be banned for twenty four hours. And, and well, and I agree true. with that statement. Yeah, that's true. You know, if you're if you're exploiting something like that, that should be a should definitely be a ban. So uh, you know, keep an eye on that. You know, if you put somebody in a cell and it glitches and they get out of it, um, you know, re report them as quickly as possible. That way we can take care of it because that that is ex exploiting for sure. And Joe. Um, I know this isn't appropriate to ask here, but that entire situation that got got him banned mm -hmm. last night was entirely started by me. Uh, so if right. there's anything you can do about that, I would. Well, really well I it. honestly think that ban is up by now because it's it, like it just a 24 hour? hour. I think so, but it seemed like okay. less than. Oh, you know what? No, it was 24 hour because it said the 20th, not the 19th. So yeah, no, gotcha. I'm still under. Okay. Okay. So it'll it'll come off, you know, and it rolls off real time. So if it was, you know. Uh, 3 a.m. on today, basically. It'll be 3 a.m. tomorrow. I mean, I'll see. I'm not going to jump in server tonight. Uh, I'm scheduled to stream um, Overwatch tonight, so I probably won't be. And I and guys, I, I those of you that are still here, looks like the numbers have dwindled, but um, yeah, I do want to apologize for not being around a whole lot lately. My, my new job is hours upon hours upon hours. Um, we just really brand opened a new store. I'm, I'm working six days a week. Next week, I'll be in Florida for a week, so I apologize for not being around much, but after I get back from Florida, beginning of December, I should be back to my, my fairly normal self, being in the server Real much, much first. more frequently. That's good, yeah. man. Again, understandable with, uh, with regards to your commitment with work, so commend, yeah. Uh, yeah. I commend you for that. <laughs> New jobs suck, but, you know, it's... Yeah. <laughs> my, old job, oh, yeah. my old job was literally killing me. I mean, I lost, like, 35 pounds in a week and a half over my last job and almost had a stroke, so... Oh, Jesus. Nice. Can yeah. I make a request real quick? Can I get a cop on? Just one more cop. Just one. Just one more. <laughs> just one. I would get a real job and do things legally. It's oh, <laughs> yeah, supposed to be completely <laughs> impossible for someone to call EMS for themselves if they've been, like, waiting for 10 minutes already. Yeah, quick thing with uh, with regarding the uh, removal of Twitter and the OOC, mm -hmm. um, that would encourage people to actually use the apps in the phone. Right, uh, and that's 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 so and everyone's running around, and no one wants to call for you. You can't pick up the phone yourself, so Twitter anonymous is the only way to send out an EMS call. At that point. Yeah, understandable with that okay. one, but again, in certain aspects of that, the the removal of Twitter and OOC may be beneficial in the long run. I think it would be nice to be able to call an EMS for yourself if you've been good and waiting, but I'm right. willing to take the hit if I have to just lie there. It'll be better once the app's fixed. Yeah, it, it will be. I know it's. I know he's still working on it. I know it's not perfect, but um, it will. Uh, it'll. It, it will get better. You'll be able to call for EMS correctly, and it. It will. And at one time, it was working. I don't. I don't know what happened. At one time, it did. I mean, if well. you're laying unconscious, right? Will you be able to pick the phone up if, if it, once the Twitter thing is gone? Or possibly That's a good get. To, yeah, or possibly get Rom to. Uh, yeah. um, you know, when you get the G for sending out the distress signal, mm -hmm. get that to potentially ping the EMS to let them know that you're there and you need assistance. It would solve the problem if that would work and the mark would stay on for them, right? Like I, I think if G was fixed, that that would solve a lot of the need for Twitter. And right. It would also, solve everything for EMS right now. We'd be able to see exactly where you guys are and do exact and come to your exact yeah. location without having to, you know, rely on LEOs to relay information to us. Because sometimes they're busy and we just frankly don't get a chance to hear from them until it's too. 
I yeah. know. I think, uh, jerk, it was you, um, that got a little upset, uh, in general chat, uh, that, that we didn't get to respond to you. Yeah. But once I found out what was happening was, it was funny. It yeah, could have been so, better handled if the one unit that was already in route could have showed up and then gone to so, the fun shootout afterward. Yeah. But it's fine. Um, and unfortunately, a little bit of that is us still trying to get used to everything and figure out how everything's going to work with EMS. And we're we really relying on LEO right now to provide all of our information. If it would be yeah, easier for Rompet, just add in a chat command like slash EMS instead mm -hmm. of Twitter. Well, it's supposed to do. There, there is a slash nine one one separate from the in phone. theory. It's not working so, right now, though. It's not working either. Okay, so in theory, the way that it's supposed to work is you do, um, eventually. Now we probably won't do it on the public server, but it will be on the whitelist for sure. So when you're in server, eventually you will be required to be in the Discord. Period. Whether you're Leo, EMS, or just a Civ. Not in Discord, sorry. TeamSpeak. There will be a civilian TeamSpeak channel. I like that. You will have no talk power in the civilian TeamSpeak channel. It is, if but you're we'll in the server, you will be required EMS to there, be there. Right. Exactly. So the way it's going to work is you do slash 911 in-game or call 911 on the phone, whichever way we've got it set up. Dispatch will get your 911 call in their CAD. They will drop down to a 911 channel. They will pull you from the team from the Civ channel to the 911 channel, and you'll complete your 911 call as if it's a real 911 call. They'll dispatch fire, EMS, police, whatever it needs to be, and then they'll move you back to the Civ channel. Yeah, see, I like that idea. That's a if great it's idea. Gonna take so some, what it's I'm hearing another is server that I play Twitter is gone. Does that? There's going to be like four different ways to contact still. So problem solved. As long right. as everything's working in the future. Yep. Now, like I said, that th that system probably won't be in place on the public server, but it will for sure be in place on the whitelist whenever it gets up and going, because that that's the most efficient way to do it. It's easy. It's clean. It gives dispatch access to not only Leo and Fire, but gives them access to all the civs too. And it works. Yeah, it, it, it works flawlessly. I've, I've seen it in action. It, it is. It's pretty amazing how it works. And we can have then dedicated uh, dispatch units uh, right. who may not be in game will be basically still a part of the game. And that right, absolutely. Because dispatch, if if dispatchers are are you don't have to be in. The, you don't even have to own Grand Theft Auto to be a dispatcher. All you've got to have is a computer that can Internet. Team speak and the CAD, and that's pretty much it. And the live map, and that's it. And we've got, in fact, there is one dispatcher. He hasn't been on much, but he is going to get on soon. But we've got one dispatcher that, that does not own Grand Theft Auto. He just enjoys the dispatching side of it. Is that uh, 81 Keaton? No, it is. He's probably not online right now. Okay, well, thank you guys. Thank everyone and all the staff. And I'm going to hop out now. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, again, definitely. thank you very much, guys. It's... Again, being a Leo in the server has definitely changed my perspective of it. Um, being a part of this community is, is much better than I've, anyone I've ever used myself. So um, oh, props That's to awesome. everybody. And Joe, thank you very much. Absolutely. You know, you, said, you know Even why. Even before you take off, Yeah, I wanted to bring something up real quick that happened yesterday. <laughs> um, so... And this is more directed towards Joe, uh, circling back towards the uh, like the pre-planned RP stuff. Um, so yesterday, I, I bought a new car, wanted to go out and test it. So I was trying. I wasn't trying to cop bait, but I just tweeted out that there was going to be a race at the Sandy Airfield, right? Um, because I knew it would get the officers' attention and it would get them over there mm -hmm. and kind of give them something to do. Because it'd been a relatively slow afternoon. Um, so we got a couple guys showed up, um, cops ended up pulling out on the runway, tried pulling us over. I took off and got into quite the pursuit with six, nine, seven and one, seven, seven. Um, and I was deliberately hitting stuff to try and simulate like an, a true blue accident that would like not knock me unconscious. Um, uh, the tractor. <laughs> yeah. And I actually, I finally found what I was looking for. And that was a, one of the big farm tractors up in Blaine County at like 90 miles an hour. I had on with it purposely. So I just want to know is like doing stuff with that on the fly, not necessarily having to set it up. 
is that something that like LEOs and you guys as admins will see acceptable for trying to play out like a specific RP situation? Yeah, I think as long as we've got some sort of yeah, I think so. I, I don't I don't see a problem with that. Okay. So I know I RP'd the hell out of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, questioning you, uh, you know, taking you to the EMS uh, yeah, yep. unit as well. Uh, just putting you in, either into the vehicle, going with the EMS to uh, Sandy uh, mm. Hospital. It's again, this this is what I like about the game. This is what I like about the community. Um, right. It's what my 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 friends got me into, and they're surprised that I've taken on it uh, onto uh, this particular kind of thing so well. Yeah, because yeah. I know, like I, I personally even had a blast in that chase. That was one of the best chases I've. Been. Well, that's that's what you know, and, and going back to the not every traffic stop needs to be a 1080, but at the same time, th- I I enjoy a, a, a good pursuit, a realistic pursuit. Um, yeah, not when it's a hooker chair and there's like psh, gone yeah, shit, like, right, like the road absolutely. runner. That's just ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, when like, I play as a Civ, if I do a 1080, is a very, very rare play as a Civ, but if I do I a 1080 do as a one. Civ, <laughs> I continually slow up. To make sure that Leo are within eyesight of me when I turn around, just because I yeah. want it to be a realistic chase. I don't, I don't try to lose them, you know. And and if I get into if I get into an accident, and it's a hard act, if I run into a car through an intersection, even though in game the car will still keep going, I RP it as I'm done, you know, because I just went through an intersection at seventy and T-boned a truck. At, you know, I'm I'm either knocked out or my car's done. You know, I RP it. I'll get out, maybe limp out of the car, fall down or something. But, you know, I don't RP that I keep that I keep going. I, I RP it out as if I was in a legit car accident. Yeah, yeah again, that's it. that's what I was trying to do last night. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to sound standoffish, but right, my car was well beyond what those Crown Vicks were capable of. So I was like trying to make sure that you guys saw all my turns and stuff like that. And I didn't want yeah, to yeah, you guys. Thank you very much for that one, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's much appreciated. And again, it's, if my, if my PC unit actually does get in a 1050 with, uh, with say like a Civ, uh, truck and it, it is heavily damaged. I will pull out of the pursuit as like, right. I've seen you do uh, plenty of times, Joe, because yeah. the vehicle cannot simply just miraculously, uh, you know, carry on the car will stop. There's, there, there's, there is physical laws that, you know, have to be followed. Right, exactly. Laws of physics. Isaac Newton. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's just impossible for the to, for a police vehicle to slam into a vehicle at like 90 miles an hour and still do 110. It's, right, absolutely. Um, I, would, I would rather get like, I would rather get a secondary in or even a, th- a tertiary in to, to take over the, the role that I was performing. At. Yep, yep. On that note, I would like to extend an apology to whichever LEO pulled me over the other day when I was uh, RPing as Anita's brother in her car, and you immediately said, step out of the vehicle, so I ran back in it. Uh, I was trying to keep y'all in sight. I think it might have been you, Joe, because I vaguely recognize your voice. What, um, what car it was? What kind of car you were I, in? I was in a uh, gray Ryler. I don't think I don't think that was me. I can't remember who it was. was it last but night, might have been last night. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was me. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> I thought y'all were still close, and then I looked behind me, and the last thing I saw was one of y'all in a Silverado going end over end across <laughs> yeah, the yeah, somebody that else. Me. That was I can't remember who was in front of me. That was somebody that was in front of me because I was in a Charger. Now, don't you guys, you guys that are. If if we've got enough officers on, don't don't make me get air one up. Because if I get air one up, and especially if I'm not fallen, if if fallen is my passenger, no, as, don't make Joe get air one up. He'll crash. I will not. <laughs> we chase, Hey, we chase, We had one. I had three hours worth of video chasing Speedy all over the map in air one. Never once uh, lost him. Quick thing with Speedy, and I, I don't know if I brought up uh, with last week's uh, meeting. Speedy wants to do like a recreation of a movie. With certain mm-hmm. cars in, um, I do have one of those cars, and that's the reason why I wanted uh, Rom to get the the full customization options for the vehicle. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to do like a, a Fast and the Furious recreation of a certain scene in the movie, yeah, and obviously then do it as a as like a mini movie that it's on our server because then we can like plaster mm-hmm. this was filmed on this server at this time in this place. 
Right. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. If we can get everybody in, get everybody on the same page, I think that would be a fantastic idea to do something like yeah, that. Yeah, because he did. It as a promo video for the server. Yeah, because he did actually post a video of um, uh, that someone actually made in the server, and it, it reminded me a lot of the, the Need for Speed movie. Yeah. Um, with how things transpired from point to point, and it was really, really well done. And right. again, it, it just looked awesome and that's one thing i would like to do yeah give me absolutely. a car and i'll be one of your drivers right i have those kind of video skills i sorry not happening <laughs> so <Quick> question <laughs> guys uh, this is a little bit uh urgent is josh back he was yeah he was okay. for sure i'm currently because i i'm banned for the discord i'm using a vpn uh to connect just so i could talk to you guys naughty um, boy <laughs> I I just crashed on the server in the middle of an RP situation. Um, I, it might have been my my VPN might have. Uh, I'm sure they call that as code zero. Yeah, they would do. Uh, yeah, and no, again, obviously, being in the police chase is where my many 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 hours of need for speed come in. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna Where's wrap the up the meeting for tonight. Um, we'll meet again next Monday at seven. Um, uh, I can't promise you I'll be there because I've got some out stuff stuff going on. Yeah, I'll um, be I'll be in Florida next week, so the staff will be around. I'll communicate with staff if I'm not on. Um, I may pop in with my phone, um, but I can't promise you that I'll be here. I've got some family stuff going on that I've got to attend to, and so, um it's something very serious and so it's to do with health of the family member mm. yeah man so, family first dude family wish first. you the best no worries about yeah, it yeah wish you the best Josh. yeah man take take care of that uh, that family member man so um i'll be i'll be around i mean i'll be on very much but uh i'll we'll see if i'm at the meeting next week i'm not going to push to be here um depending on what's going on Mate, yeah, that would say, that would, that would, yeah, that'll take a day off, man. Just literally take a day off and and get it sorted. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good night, and uh, we'll meet again soon. You yeah, too. Everyone, Thank you very much, guys. Uh, everyone have a good Thanksgiving. See you guys. Yeah. And uh, and Maurice.